Good morning, everybody. What's going on? Welcome back to Movie Mornings. I'm your host, Dom Martino. And today we're going to be talking about San Diego Comic-Con, which is happening this weekend. And we're going to have a lot of exciting announcements. And we're going to sit here and kind of try to predict what some of those announcements just may be. Also, on top of that, we do have a little acquisition between HBO and A24. We'll get into that a little bit as well. Kind of give you guys an idea of what you can see on the service after all this and we also have a halloween ends trailer that i reacted to you guys can go check out the reaction right now but look guys sitting with me today as always is mr jose espinel and david trash what's going on folks i just ate a chips ahoy cookie when i turned the screen i thought that was pedro from napoleon dynamite for a second and then i realized it was jose it took me like a couple <laughs> minutes just a yeah final. yeah yes right. i do have a new have a new, have a, have a new look today guys yeah i decided to to just shave and see what this would look like hey man so. you rock it though i i really think you do i'm not gonna lie to you i'll give you a compliment for once so well, thank you look man, guys thank you uh please before we get started hit that like button below subscribe to the channel leave some feedback in the comment section share this with your friends hit the bell for notifications all right so i wanted to start with the darker shit get that out of the way uh nice. there's something a little bit dark that kind of happened in the world of movies and shit and then we'll get to all the fun comic-con stuff a couple dark things actually so the first thing was this whole Zack snyder rolling stone article did anybody read about this mm -mm. so basically it's it was a shitty headline because the headline said that basically bots field the snyder cut and the headline it's a bad headline not because they i mean not because of the fact that it was bots fueled the snyder cut but mainly because Oh, <laughs> yeah. Am I back? Yeah. Am I back, everybody? Are we good? Are. Can we yeah. do the show? <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm worried for a second. All right. Look, no, not because bots um, feel this. I mean, bots didn't feel the Snyder Cut. If you read the article, it barely talks about that. So in the article, it was like 13 some odd percent of the release of Snyder Cut posts. Only 13 percent <laughs> were bots. And, like, the rest were legit. So that's irrelevant. A lot of people are kind of glossing over that part of this. A lot of people are just kind of taking the headline and attacking the person that wrote the article. And the article is actually, it's a very well-written article. Whether you believe what's in there or not, it's a well-written article. And the person's getting attacked for a headline that Rolling Stone probably chose, not the author of the article. So I wanted to get that part out of the way. And the fact that people are attacking this author is kind of proving the author's point because a lot of what the article is truly about is how people use social media and weapon, you know, they weaponize it. And that's a true fact in all fandoms right now. And not that releasing the Snyder cut is weaponizing social media per se, but what is weaponizing is when like Zack Snyder's movie came out and Godzilla versus Kong came out shortly after, and Godzilla versus Kong outperformed the Snyder Cut on HBO Max. What did the Snyder fans do? Not me per se, but they go on social or they go on Rotten Tomatoes and they review bomb Godzilla versus Kong, which is shitty because it's a movie just like Snyder Cut is and just trying to make its way. But what this article did kind of lay out is that Zack Snyder apparently, and again, this is very allegedly, this is everything if you read the article. If you read the timeline of events, it's all kind of hearsay, but I'd be lying okay. if I said some things about this does, you know, didn't add up because we all remember the Ray Fisher controversy, him kind of coming out on Warner Brothers saying basically that he was mistreated and, and it was like this poor guy came out and it was like nobody believed him or something like it all kind of got glossed over. This is interesting, and it kind of worries me, and I hope if this is true that Zach has cleaned up his act, because I was personally a huge fan of the Snyder Cut, and I'm a huge fan of Zack Snyder in general. I think the guy, he seems like a good dude when you watch him in interviews, regardless if you're a fan of him or not. He always comes across and very cordial, and he, and he did get screwed. He did get screwed, I mean, by Warner Brothers in the situation. You know, daughter commits suicide, he takes a leave, and they bring Josh Whedon in to redo his movie against his you know it was a bad situation regardless if you like the snyder cut or not regardless if you like Zack snyder or not they screwed him and 
to me, I root for the guy that kind of got screwed in that situation, this being Zack Snyder. So the Snyder Cut comes out, all's good, right? But maybe not, because some of the stuff that Snyder was getting accused of in this article, I mean, it's not Ezra Miller bad, but it's it's not great. And Jenny Schneider. So he was basically being accused of pretty much threatening Warner Brothers executives that he was going to attack them on social media because there's two producers on this on this uh, movie that was on the Justice League movie. Jeff Johns being one of them. He's one of the bigger names from Warner Brothers that he threatened to attack on social media. Apparently, again, this is all allegedly due to this article. You believe it or not. But basically, you, pause for yeah. clarification. It, or, when you say attack, you're saying attack with social media. Using social media to attack okay. him, destroy not his like career. Like I'm gonna fuck not up, violent, not physical like violence. Like social it's media a, bombing. Yeah, we're not talking Ezra Miller bad accusations. We're just saying yeah, that that was not, Zach cool. Snyder. Not Schneider, Zach Schneider. Zach's yeah, whatever. Threatened Jeff Johns <laughs> <laughs> with social media that he was going to use it against him because Jeff Johns didn't refuse to take his name off the movie and Zack Snyder didn't want his name on the movie considering Jeff Johns was never in support of that anyway. Interestingly enough, that event happens. Ray Fisher goes online and says shit about Jeff Johns as a producer. There was also a different executive that Zack Snyder said or got into a tiff with over the Snyder cut. And sure enough, he gets into this tiff with this producer. Ray Fisher goes on and starts talking about that producer so the timeline starts to add up now if you want my personal opinion and again this is my personal opinion i do think a lot of things were heated with that situation uh, Zack snyder being taken off his own film and i can understand his anger and i'm sure things were said that <laughs> were probably he probably didn't want to say and he was going through a tough time with his daughter so excuse i'm just saying I'm sure things were said on the part of Zack Snyder is my opinion of it. And I think Ray Fisher is a good friend of his considering Snyder cast him in Rebel Moon, his upcoming film. I'm assuming that Ray Fisher was just trying to back up his body in these tough situations between producer and producer. The part of the article that got even more interesting, and again, this all comes from hearsay, is when Adam Wingard's Godzilla vs. Kong was getting review bombed, Zack Snyder still at that point didn't really help out at all when adam wingard the filmmaker who i like adam wingard a lot by the way called up Zack snyder to ask him to call off the dogs your fans are attacking my film only because it outperformed yours that's the only reason actually funny enough at that point i don't even think it out outperformed it when it was getting review bombed fans just assumed it was going to outper excuse me outperform based on hbo speculation numbers and they went and review bomb the movie anyway i don't even know why you'd want to do that like godzilla king kong doesn't need a review bomb it already sucks it's fantastic i love it but I it doesn't it, matter yeah, yeah. It's amazing it doesn't matter <clears throat> but the fact is is moral ground i guess is what we're talking about and when Zack snyder was called about that apparently Zack snyder said i don't control my fans which i think is a wrong response Anyway, regardless of Zack Snyder's behavior, fans are attacking this author now, and it kind of proves the author's point of weaponizing social media, and I think that this is a whole twisted kind of catch-22, um, but yeah, man, I was just so shocked. I didn't know if you guys had any thoughts on, on this whole situation. I know you didn't read the article, but not on Zack Snyder himself, but just in terms of like the weaponizing of social media, that's kind of been, we've seen it. I, I I've seen it just for Thor and love and thunder once or twice, you know, it's, it's just getting out of hand people going at each other, you know, whatever. It's just took out Gina Carano, bro. Yeah. My fucking gal. I mean, yeah, it happens, I guess, but yeah. I don't know. I'm just saying that, man, I, I don't know. There's, there's, there's moral ground. I think that you got to stand on <laughs> and, and like, there's, I think in a professional world is like somebody like Zack Snyder, there's two different sides to this, I think, because I think in a professional world, I think somebody like Zack Snyder to say, I'm going to use social media to attack you is just wrong. I think there's other ways to win. And clearly he did take the route to get him to win too you know like without having to use social media it, is it bad that i feel zero sympathy for the execs at warner bros like i'm not gonna lie like the author i don't either and I, godzilla versus king kong i'm i'm not cool with that i don't again i don't know if zach snyder exactly i don't either it's a legend right go after yeah. godzilla versus king kong 
And if he shits talk as an author, I mean, that's his personal opinions. But I, I feel absolutely zero. Support. Oh, I don't either. Anyone I don't either. Or said Warner Bros. Like, boo fuck. Oh, I don't either because they, <laughs> uh, as I as I began this, they screwed him. I don't either. Yeah. I think if it was even a reputable studio in the first place. I think that in a professional world, though, social media is not a way to conduct business. That's all I'm trying to say. No, yeah. I think that he should. Then again, without social media, would we even get the Schneider cut? No, like, but I understand the, the weaponization. I don't think it, that's but... not. I don't think that's weaponization. That's why I want to clarify here. I don't think saying hashtag release the Snyder cut is weaponization itself. Oh, man, I'm man. talking. I was, that, I was at the building when I was ready to fuck those dudes. Up I'm talking the folks. Give me the Schneider cut. I wanted it, but I, <laughs> I'm talking the folks that are posting pictures of the producers with fucking machetes going through their. You know what I mean? Because it got to the point where they actually did have to get security, like cybersecurity. Did Zach do that, though? No, not Zach. I'm talking the fans that did that. Yeah. I'm talking fandom, weaponizing it, using it for actual, like, death threats, violence, things like that. Yeah, that's no, what that's, I'm talking that's about. That's all awful on a personal yeah. level. I mean, whether you like them or not, like, not to get into politics, but, like, the whole, there was a mass shooter once that said that Bernie Sanders was his inspiration, right. and... I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even a big Bernie Sanders fan, but I know that he didn't do that. Like he's a decent person. I disagree right. with him, but he's a decent person, so he's not responsible for that. So, I mean, looking at it through that lens, I don't know what Zack Snyder did. I think he has, you know, the right to call that author a dumbass or something yeah. if he wants to. But yeah, people putting pictures of machetes through producers' heads. That stuff is like, like it, it's yeah. not even Kathleen Kennedy, bro. Relax, like fucking. <laughs> Come on. <now. laughs> <laughs> That was, Bob a, that was a low blow. Yeah, that was a low blow. <laughs> Bob Paycheck just does it to himself, so I don't know what to tell yeah, him. He's, <laughs> he's tweeting out pictures of that, like about about himself. He's just sharing them outright. <laughs> Nobody tweet a picture of JPEG's machete head or whatever. But look, <laughs> I'm not endorsing that. But um, no, I wanted to get this part out of the way. I just thought it was interesting, and if there. If you just take those moments, though, this is the other part of it. If you take the moments of, and again, the quotes are alleged, but if you take the moments of Zack Snyder being heated and Ray Fisher backing him up and Warner Brothers kind of backing down from Ray Fisher's, excuse me, accusations against their own producers, it, it all starts to kind of add up. And now we're kind of getting a clearer picture of what happened in the timeline. And I think that that is what makes this article the most interesting read. And I also wanted to clear it up because when you see that Rolling Stone headline that says Snyder Cut was fueled by whatever, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a different article completely. So don't <laughs> yeah. look at that and just hate on that author. That's Rolling the Stone other reason. Rolling Stone puts it on it whatever the fuck they want. I thought that was a <laughs> dumb move to put that as the headline because they 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 pretty much. I think that author should sue Rolling Stone. They were like, <laughs> what what did they think was going to happen when they made that the headline <laughs> of the article? You know, was, you got some fucking Rolling Stone editor who sped read that fucking article. I know. And just dropped the first thing he could think of on it like what's the most grabby thing i could throw on this he's just sitting there listening Ooh, to the M&M my my, like, my, my, he, was, he, was, he was on his deadline he's like shit what's the what's the best thing i could post right now last second yeah this I know, one. Right? okay cool yeah mm. this one all right yeah Cyberbots. Ooh, that's that's catchy. Yes, Cyberbots. Yes, let's talk about that. No, that the new Zach guy. Snyder is aiding and abetting Ezra Miller. Okay, this is <laughs> exactly. all sounding correct to me. <laughs> right, <laughs> exactly. That's probably exactly what this guy would do. Whoever whoever published that headline, ridiculous. Anyway, the author the, the the article itself is very well written. A lot of it's alleged stuff, but it's very well written, and I do recommend reading it for folks who are getting pissed off at it. It's not the author's fault. It doesn't seem like it's the alt, alt, yeah. author's fault. Read the article. It's interesting. Gives us a clearer picture leading up to the Snyder cut. Also, how this was. I love this part though. Zack Snyder pretty much telling him "fuck you" and go and shoot an extra footage anyway. That part of the article is fantastic because I am fully on Zack Snyder's side. It's the Snyder cut, and you gave him money to finish the Snyder cut. Shoot whatever the hell you want, Zack. You know what I mean? I think that's dumb. And anyway, we're gonna talk about Zack Snyder a little more later today because we have a. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk Comic-Con, so there's some interesting stuff leading into that. So we'll talk Snyder a little bit more. Uh, the other part of this is what's going on at Netflix right now, interestingly mm -hmm. enough. So Netflix is offering their ad-free tier, and I know a lot of people want to yell and scream at them, but look, guys, this is the deal. Hulu offers an ad-free tier, too, and it's cheaper. 
Peacock offers an ad-free tier. Netflix is the last service that doesn't offer an ad-free tier. I mean, if I could watch Stranger Things for $9.99 a month, I'm going to. <laughs> you know, because it's just honestly, I don't want to. I'm tired of spending what is it, like 20 bucks now, seems like per month. Close to it for the premium at least. I think that's like the highest. So I don't pay for any of my stuff. Oh, yeah, same. Let's go. That's fine. I I I don't want to pay for it. So if I could watch The Witcher or Stranger Things for nine ninety nine a month, so be it. But I that was another. This is another kind of dark thing that a lot of people are yelling and screaming about. But here's the other part of it. This is where it gets even darker. Two days ago, net, that could have been the end of Netflix. I don't know if you guys like realize that. Like a couple days ago, they had their earnings call, and they were expecting to come in seventy percent less than their prior earnings call. And now had that happened. And 70% less than their prior earnings call would have been a loss of 2 million subscribers, which stocks would have plummeted. Had that happened, no more Netflix. Bye-bye. Uh, so that was interesting. And now here's the good news for Netflix. Because I, I wanted to talk about this, especially with you, Jose, because I remember we had a conversation on this very show where we were talking about you thought it was going to be like five years out before Netflix plummeted, and I said 10 years Netflix came in a lot better than expectation. They were only a million subscribers under, which is actually half of what they thought. That's better than what they thought they were going to be at. It's still really bad, though. It's not good. I mean, they're not out of the woods, not, but the, it's. I, I mean, my fear, my five year projection could still be on point. I ain't gonna lie. I honestly think that. I, oh, I'm not. In, I'm not in, validating in, in, that. I think in five, in five years' time, all the shows and movies that we that we see on Netflix are just going to go to other companies, and Netflix is just going to cease to exist overall. I'm calling it honestly because. I'm not invalidating uh, that. <laughs> I mean, what do I know? I'm drinking Diet Mountain Dew over here, really but guys. yeah. I think 10 years, but that's me. Now, Dave, I do want to get your take, but let me explain this part. So yeah, please do. He, I think I said that last time I'm shooting for 15 years now. And the reason why I'm extending that time is because I think this ad free thing or the, not the ad free, I'm sorry, the ad tier can work because we all know how much money ads make these companies, which is a lot. I also think the other thing Netflix is going to do is they're actually going to start trimming the fat. And by that, because I think they learned a valuable lesson. By that, I mean, they're going to be very careful on where they invest their money, what movies they're making. Another point I want to bring up, look at their 2022 preview. They have some pretty damn good looking movies on that thing, like better than I've seen in other years. Another thing I think they should do, they need to do this. They need to start marketing better. They need to put trailers out better. Another thing they should do, week-to-week -week shows. No, no more binge bullshit. It, it, it doesn't work. I'm sorry. Because you binge it, you forget about it. Week-to-week, -week, we are talking about the shows on this show, for example. Week-to-week, -week, which makes it relevant week-to-week. -week. You got to do that. That's another strategy they really need to take on right yeah. now is the week-to-week -week thing. Yeah, because they'll just, they'll just like wait till the season's done, and they just throw the entire season on on netflix at once yeah to re -hit. yeah and it just doesn't i just it just kills the excitement well, look of, at all the anticipation the they built just for stranger cancel, things too. yeah it does make it easier to when cancel someone's right. able to just come in even with the two-part or stranger things someone could just come in watch it all binge it and and pay for one month out of the year for netflix if that's all that they want to watch it's true but i think what the the, the where stranger things was successful is they think they they realize how to build anticipation to something like we yeah. were waiting and you know waiting and waiting and waiting we, we were just and like the, How's and, the this thing, gonna and the thing and the thing with that at first is that originally it was supposed to be like volume one was going to be five episodes and then volume two is supposed to be the other four right but they, they split it up into like um which was, we all disagreed on it, it, it was <laughs> two episodes i followed and i think we all disagreed on that and it was yeah. funny because <laughs> i think i was the only one that was like i don't know i kind of really like that it just left us with the crazy ass finale and jose's like no nah, this is bullshit they just give me everything right now and then i think i don't know how you guys feel but i feel really fucking happy that oh no i love it now two episodes out i think no I think, I think those two I were like perfect to leave it there i i, I think i would have enjoyed week to week honestly Either way, I, I think I thought it was my a good anticipation, strategy. My anticipation would have been built up so much more for the finale. You're not wrong. Just, you're not wrong. Just done week to week. Yeah. You're, not, you're not wrong, but I think that this was them dipping their toe into the water. It's not a bad start. It's not a bad start for them to try it out and see and, how it works. And, and, and where you say, uh, Dave, about you know just 
b- putting everything to binge. I mean, the person that subscribes will just subscribe and they just unsubscribe, and so they're just exactly. losing. They're just losing subscribers, and they're just gonna keep losing subscribers. Eventually, they'll have no subscribers. So if you do week to and- week. That way, the the you know fans will be subscribed for longer, and we'll have to, because we'll have that's to the thing is where where I think that Netflix has a long time if they just fix more clerical issues. Is I think their content is fucking spectacular. To be honest, I mean, uh, original Sandler, content. A lot of it is good. You're right. Content, yeah. The Netflix, I mean, Extraction was one of the best fucking movies released in the last couple of years, especially for an action movie. You're talking David Arbor, Chris Hemsworth. We got Stranger Things. They signed Adam Sandler. I mean, they just own like. They don't own Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler owns them, and he's just pretty much a beautiful original movie. So I think they got a lot going for them, and they're better off. I mean, you, you want to compare it to other platforms. Netflix's biggest issue is that they are so self sufficient and new compared to most things. Like even Hulu had a decent backing with HBO and stuff coming with them at first until they came out with HBO Max. I mean, compared to Disney, their their losses have not been as big as people make it out to be. It's just that Disney has other things to help back them numbers wise to supply the loss of Disney plus that they've taken in subscribers. So I think if Netflix just gets on point with weekly releases and, and yeah, yeah. As, as, or as Dom said, just trimming the fat, uh, especially in some of the content that they do pay for that they really just shouldn't be. That's, you know, I think if they pick the right titles and focus on their original content, they'll be pretty well off here. Well, you raise a great point there at the end, especially with focus on original content because they are paying licensing fees to get, unoriginal content and it's just not the way anymore unless you're like hbo max and the only reason hbo still does it is because that's how they built their brand was unoriginal content like and so did netflix don't get me wrong but netflix started the streaming there's a difference hbo is still a network that has unoriginal content on there along with a lot of original content and most of it is fire so when you look at netflix Yes, they need to focus on original content because most of it, it, it does hit. Or when it, at least original shows, original movies, all hit or miss. But original shows, they've definitely done really well with. Uh, people subscribe, I think, mainly for those shows. I can't tell you the last time I browsed on Netflix to watch something that wasn't one of their products. And that's just me personally. It might be different with you guys. I mean, now sometimes I'll see something and be like, I haven't watched that in a while, and I'll put it on. Great. But I don't get on there specifically with the goal to watch something that's not one of their original things. If I happen to skim past yeah. it and I want to watch it at the time, it's like, well, that actually sounds better than what I was going here for. Then I'll put it on. But now, one I will say is one of their huge uh, licensed products that they dropped that really used to save them is one that they used to have uh, The Office on Netflix. That's what I mean. And two, the other biggest one, which I don't know why they don't reacquire because it did have a lot of subscribers because of it, is that 70s show. Right. That 70s show, and now more than ever, I mean, I don't know where that 90s show is going and where this uh, that 70s show is going to come. I think they're it. both on Paramount, if I'm not mistaken. But Yeah, that's a mistake. And that's, I think I Not on Paramount's part. On yeah, well, <laughs> I, I think it was Dom. Dom was like, Dom at the time, it was a long time ago, but Dom was like, I don't know about Paramount here. I was like, I don't know, buddy. I think they got uh, that 70s show that'll be coming on, that 90s show. I oh, I said that? Yellowstone. Yeah, it was, well, it was around the time you didn't even know about Yellowstone too much, but I had watched it. I was like, uh, dude, I'm telling you from someone who watches Paramount, Dom, there's originals are getting pretty fire right now. Oh, I, I mean, I, I I, may have said that pending Halo. I was waiting to see how Halo did. Yeah, and well. It's got its audience. It's got its audience. And, and, you know, Paramount, though, by the way, this year, it not maybe not Paramount Plus specifically, they're having a big year, so I will change my tune yeah. on that if I did say that, which may be the case. But I'll change my tune between Sonic and Top Gun now. Just Top Gun just knocked Last Jedi oh, off yeah. the domestic and became in the Thank top God. ten uh, highest grossing movies of all time domestically. So that's <laughs> never loved something this movie more than now. Oh, uh, I that's fine. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so look, that's that's you. Uh, <laughs> but the anyway. The point being, they need to start... Fo- and now the other thing about this ad, I, I, I think I kept calling it ad free tier, the ad tier for nine ninety nine, that yeah. they are going to start doing is you won't get all the content that's on Netflix, but don't worry because you will get all their original content <laughs> because they can license that with the ads. Why even keep a lot of that on the service? I mean, to me, it, it is holding them back quite a bit. I think that I honestly think if they made an announcement today that and they said we're cutting all the non-original content, but 
you'll still get you'll still get you you'll still get stranger things you'll still get the witcher i think people would still stay subscribed for that reason alone i i really do i mean they'll lose some but i think in the long term they'll still gain a lot and i i, I still think a lot of people have it for that original content i think that's the majority of the reason so i don't know and they just have to kind of keep reacquiring because i mean stranger things is going to end here soon they'll do a spin-off series i'm sure at some point but let's say season yeah, five is, is the season five yeah. is the last season but they're right. going to do a, a spin-off whether right. it's a movie or a show they're going to do it yeah so they just have to keep reinventing with original content and i think that they can make it dave before you said you disagreed so really quick we're going to talk about this then we'll get to comic-con i just want to get this answer out of you where where do you think their timeline stands if you had to guess so jose was that until they plummet yeah if you had to guess, you just don't, you think that they're here for the long haul. I, I think they've been around so long. People don't realize how long they've been along, along for. And, and the biggest thing is like, it's easy, like right now in the moment of stranger things to say they're not investing in originals. But the fact of the matter is ever since they've started their Netflix originals, it is like exponentially. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not saying they're not investing in originals. They are investing in originals. They're investing. Okay. May well, that's what I think will end up saving it, though. Yeah. The fact that they're building You're not so wrong. many originals. And more importantly, like if the Duffer brothers do come back and do a totally different show, do you think they're not going to come straight to Netflix? I don't. I, I would hope so. They have such a good relationship with Netflix. Yeah. I think they come back to Netflix and it's not just about earning different shows yeah. i mean they got those two freaking creators and the duffer brothers are fucking amazing yeah i hope they well, keep I just, for that I alone they have adam sandler arguably the greatest comedian of all time i mean i think they're just building one hell of a superstar team and i think yeah. as long as they keep investing in this stuff it keeps paying off see but i think i think that they're eventually going to lose enough subscribers to the to the point where a company is going to offer enough money for them to sell it <laughs> That it's just going to. I think so too. It's going to go to a different company. Netflix isn't going to be able to refuse the offer that this company gives them because they're going to lose. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. My timeline now changes because of this whole ad thing that they're going to add, but I still it think helps. that eventually it will plummet to a point where they're going to have to accept the offer that this other company offers them because they're just not going to have enough money to be able to keep investing into this original content because they're just going to keep losing subscribers and eventually just not be able to invest money into originals so put it this way i think 15 years if they don't plummet and i'm giving them 15 years that's a pretty good amount of time you know i changed i changed my timeline yeah. i, I changed it now to i'm gonna say like eight nine years okay if they it, if they don't plummet in 15 years i bet you they get bought out that would be the, yeah 100 yeah. yeah if they don't plummet they're getting bought out 100 percent. yeah well, it, yeah to be fair if they're investing in original content in eight to nine years they don't have a strong enough lineup i mean they just deserve to lose but that's the thing is all their original content is good enough i mean look at hbo max exponential growth half of what people are forgetting is that the entire streaming game just changed and like two years ago there weren't originals and that's half of why they're going down is because they were up and there was no place to go but down. Right. So now the fact that they're oh, you're not wrong here, and then they're working original content. I don't see how they would fail. I mean, you'd Disney Plus is still failing. They are still not successful yet. They have. They have. Oh so no. no. Yeah, but they're, also, but they're also. But they're also successful. They're also. They're, also they're like, backed by Disney. But they're, just but, the point being. But they're like most they're, streaming services are not hitting their numbers, except for of course like the H HBO Maxes that keep things extraordinarily tight. And it all comes from the original content. Yeah, have. but this this Disney, 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 Disney well Disney's before newer. Disney well before they do only because yeah. Disney doesn't pay licensing fees for a lot true, of this that stuff. That is true. That's yeah, the difference. Extent, that yeah, is true. That does help, but again, they're just they're they're not even getting closer to their numbers either, though. That's the problem with Disney but, Plus. So but, they're not even getting closer. They're dropping down every month, even worse. But Netflix operates at a big deficit and they always have and they continue to operate in the deficit too that's the other thing here that i think about is the way that they keep operating in this deficit and i love a lot of their original shows i think their biggest problem is, is they invest too much money sometimes in them honestly like stranger things you put all the money you have into that because that's going to yeah. do well which you yeah. put all your money into that mm -hmm. and i'm not saying that on personal bias you that show that people like you put a lot of money into that oh, because people will watch it but mm -hmm. then there's times where they'll come out with something like oh gosh what was the one about the surfers it was so dumb oh um the show right yeah oh, but it, something banks outer oh, banks oh outer banks outer banks and nobody outer watched it yeah, and it looks true. fucking yeah. expensive it looks way more yeah. expensive than it needed to be and you got disney over here 
Uh, this is why they'll be profitable first because they're using these volume stages to make Mandalorian, not actual locations. They're making, they're looking for ways to save money. And mm -hmm. say what you will about Bob Chapek. This is the one thing he will do for them. He will save them money. <laughs> he will save them a little bit of money in terms of the streaming, the way that they That's make fair. these streaming shows. Because of his business sense, he will save them money in that way. I think he'll lose a lot of money in his quality of content. But I think in terms of saving money in the making of the shows, I think he will do that. I think he will cut costs there. And so I'll give him that. That's the one credit I'll give Bob JPEG. Don't ask me to do it again. But if I had to give him one thing, that'd be it. Look, guys, I, I, I do want to know what the audience thinks of this. I mean, are you going to get the ad-free tier? I guess is kind of where it circles back to. But I let's jump into this Comic-Con weekend. This is major. There's a lot of chatter. I was kind of talking to Jose about this a little bit earlier. Some of these things that were kind of, I was, you know, been kind of whispered around and, and, and just like how exciting this could actually be. So I do want to get some predictions. So I'm just going to kind of go around the room here and try to see what you guys want to see and what you think will be like viable. Like, what do you think we're going to actually see? Like if you had to put money on it, what do you think we'll actually see? And then also what would you want to see? Um, so let's start with the DC panel. Um, so for DC this weekend, what do you think they will announce? What do you think you want to, what do you want to see? And, uh, what do you think we will see? Uh, let's start with Dave on this for DC. 20 seasons of peacemaker. <laughs> oh yes. 20, 20, yes. 20. Let's just come out and say it. We have a number. The number is 20. We're going 20 seasons of peacemaker. Oh, put that, I'll put that in the want category. <laughs> Not the will. No, no that's still going to happen actually. That's 20 seasons. I talked 20 Zach seasons. Snyder what the fuck? James Gunn. Okay. We're like we're down for it. Um, I mean, I'll, bo I'll bounce off that. I do. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we get some more information on Peacemaker. I think that that's definitely uh, a, a viable option. Flash. Yeah, yeah. They're going to need all the distractions. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. So, oh, you mean the movie? I think you meant the show. Yeah. Okay, Ezra uh, Miller, supporter, calm down. No, no, no. I thought you meant the show. I thought you, I thought you meant the show. I know. I know. No, I think DC, I, that's the funny part is I think DC is going to have like a time they're like oh i think they're gonna hey, have a so bomb ass panel though i disagree i think oh, they're gonna have no, a bomb I think ass they panel will. i'm just saying it's funny that like uh -oh. the whole thing is tiptoeing around it is back to the flash movie so i'm i'm excited to see what they bring because whatever they bring is gonna try to avoid that at all costs and it's gonna be some bomb bomb news i guarantee you there's a real big team of uh high pressure people right now that are being told okay we need to get some news out here for these people because otherwise they're gonna remember that we employed ezra miller still and flash is coming out with them i'll throw i'll so, throw i'll throw one out here that michael keaton <laughs> maybe i'll throw one out here that i think is at a 90 percent chance at this point henry cavill comes out on stage dwayne johnson brings him out announces him in black adam i think that super superman in black adam oh shit oh oh you're back you're good all right i think henry cavill comes out that could be a sign and <laughs> he's gonna be in superman i i Is really or he's gonna be a black adam 100 percent i'd be down for that. i think that's happening i'm giving that a 90 percent chance that's how sure i am at this point okay. i i think that that's gonna I happen think that would make sense because black adam's such a good movie if they do try to conceal that until release it's gonna come out yeah It'd be smart to drop now at Comic Con. That's a that's a really good. It'd be really there, smart really. for Warner Brothers to drop any good news at all right now. Right? <laughs> Anything they, they can get up. Johnny <laughs> Depp's coming back. We're sorry, guys. Please. <laughs> I Henry Cavill though I think is an absolute. I I think it's happening. I think it's happening. I think, and if not Dwayne Johnson bringing him out for Black Adam, I think Henry Cavill's just going to come out and announce he's coming back as Superman at some point. I think it's going to be one of those two things. But I'm in the ninety percent range of Henry Cavill being announced. That's a will happen, and it and it's a want to happen thing because I want that so badly. Uh, make it happen, uh, Jose. What what's one that you got that you want to see this um, weekend? I want to see Grant Gustin come out and say that he's going to be in the new. I think the odds are very slim that Grant Gustin is there at all, or that they mentioned this Flash movie at all. I think that's very slim that they. <laughs> that's, just, that's just something I want to see. I, oh no, that, that's fair because that's what I asked yeah. you is what you wanted and Flash in and, any context. Yeah. The DC employees True. will be like. <laughs> Uh, no light photography, please. Uh, let's just yeah. No, no or light just, involved just, photography. Just, you mean flash? Hey, shut up! No one said that. Or just, or just them announcing that they'll 
be replacing him with someone else, honestly. Just no, I don't think that they're going to roll that out this weekend. I, I just have Before low the hopes. movie is released, I don't think so. I think if, if, if they ever do that announcement, if that ever happens, and I don't think that's even happening, I just think they're going to quietly release the thing. I'm sticking with that. But if they ever yeah. do, it would happen at DC Fandom next year. That's that's my prediction. If they ever do. Uh, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, but I don't think that they'll do it this year. But I, it's a want to see, and that's fine. I, I, I'll, I'll grant you I'll grant you your want to see. Uh, no pun intended. Or is yeah, it? Nice, uh, nice. So, yeah, Dave, I mean, is there so, uh, what else would you like to see this weekend from the DC panel? DC, I would like to see Ryan Reynolds play Martian Manhunter. Mm, that's interesting. I do that's th- what I want to see. I, I do think happen. Ryan Reynolds is at Comic Con this weekend, but we'll get to that in a little bit. But, oh, yeah. Hey, it's not bad casting. And they already said uh, that was part of the article going back to that is that DC didn't want uh, Snyder to use Martian Manhunter because they had future plans for him. So, oh, wow. I didn't know that. That's exciting. That was part of the article. So, um, mm, that's interesting okay. right there. No, I'm saying you got All right, a good Ryan Reynolds second chance at Green Lantern. We forgive you. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's happening. Good this yeah. so, I guess something else I, I'd be pretty cool to see is uh, Keanu Reeves coming out to talk about the Berserker movie. Okay. He's coming. That's yeah. a possibility. They, they, again, they're going to throw out everything they have this weekend. Exactly. So I'm not going to take it off the table. That's definitely something that they might do this weekend at DC. That's why I even bring up Peacemaker because I don't even. Yeah. Think, I don't think it even makes sense to bring up Peacemaker. But they're probably calling John Cena like, "Hey, we're just going to pretend like we got some ideas here. <laughs> just, like, just, like, just come out just and talking to people tell people and... you're excited to come back, and we'll yeah. That that's Put on the Peacemaker. Yeah. Helmet, please, for the love of God. Is that hundred percent like, sounds like a real scenario right now all right here's my other one i'm gonna give this a 40 percent i'm gonna give the, mm-hmm. i'm putting this at a 40 percent that this happens okay it was both a want and something that may happen i was there's a slight chance here i'm giving i'm putting it at 40 percent okay Zack snyder comes out and announces justice league two and three mm. now okay. a couple things I, you guys got to remember one warner brothers has new leadership Two, that new leadership has been has been cutting a lot of DC properties, a lot of those CW shows. He's doing a lot. He's even cut a couple of their movies. He's changing the whole order of DC. And I'll take it a step even higher. He does he because Zaslav has been looking for that next creative to oversee the entirety of DC. Maybe Zack Snyder comes out and announces that he is the head of creative. Yeah, he is seen, their fighting. Seen- have you have you uh, read because i read too this article that uh in terms of like superhero movies on the cw for dc there's like only three that are still running and yeah that's that's the flash supergirl and uh the the superman lois and lane and that's lois, because of lois, superman and lois that's one. that's because of david zaslav too he, he is cutting yeah. things left and right and, and for good reason probably and I mean, I'm, you know, because, you know, the Flash show is already on season eight, but I think that from what I've read, it's looking like season nine might be the last one and then they're just going to cut it there. Yeah. Because there's not many superhero shows running anymore. Yeah. I'm going to say 40% Snyder renounces Justice League 2 and, and look, 3. And if, he's, and if he becomes head of creative, I, I wouldn't be I opposed think, to that. I think it's a possibility. I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed, honestly, because he's, I mean, he's just so talented. And on top of that, I'll go 45% that Zack Snyder is even there at all. I think he comes out on stage just to say something, even if it's not just Justice League 2 and 3, that he's going to announce something for DC. Um, I know that, that he's been sworn off to work with them again, but look, there's new leadership now. The, he can make any decision he wants, and and if he looks at that... If, if you are a smart person, <laughs> you look at those numbers for Zack Snyder's Justice League and how well it performed, and you get Zack Snyder the fuck back at that studio. Oh, 100%. and you let you make him work. If yeah. and David Zaslav, like we said, he's a very smart leader. He will make the right decision, I think, and this makes sense to me. I think that that's something that's absolutely happening. So yeah, uh, where were we though? We'll go back to Dave because like it was Dave, Jose, me, and then we'll go back to Dave. Uh, Dave, what's another thing that you think that they might roll out this weekend? Are we still talking about DC? DC. Sorry. Dude, I think they'll roll out fucking Jack Nicholson if it means they shut the fuck up about the Flash. I don't fucking know, dude. Hey, fucking hey, hey, uh, hey. I don't think they'll. I think they'll ask Joaquin Phoenix out there for fucking Joker too, and be like, yeah. hey, just just pretend you're here, bro. Just pretend you're a part of the thing, dude. Just do, just do the thing, please, please. <laughs> um, shit, man. I don't know. 
yeah, that's all I got out of B. I don't, I don't know what the fuck they're gonna do. It's gonna make it really interesting to watch because it's either gonna be slow as hell and I'll just tune out, or it's it's gonna be an absolute bombshell. And I think under the new leadership, it'll be a bombshell. We'll get some good news out of here. I just don't know what the fuck they're gonna do. I think, I think, ninety percent. I'm gonna put another one in a ninety percent positive, positive for me. Shazam two trailer. I think that's happening as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna put yeah. it at a ninety percent. I think they're gonna roll that out this weekend as well. Uh, Jose, is there? Uh, what else would you like to see out of DC this weekend? I mean, yeah, yeah. The Shazam two trailer. I think that'd be cool. Um, Public execution of Ezra Miller. I don't know. What you know what? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck> <laughs> it. Um, oh, man. Or just just uh, any sightings of him at all. Like, where, the, where, the, where the fuck is this dude? Can we at least get an update on where he's at? I mean, something like. That. <laughs> no one knows where the fuck this dude is anymore. Like, yeah. This dude's just gone full incognito. Good lord. This showing is either going to be a bombshell, or they're just going to be like. Hey guys, check out some movies that are coming out later this year, like uh, at Black Adam, and I think there's another one. And then they're just gonna be like, "All right, let's talk about Harry Potter, Fantastic Beasts, more, please, please, please." Do you think? Do you guys think Joaquin and uh, Todd Phillips show up to talk about Joker two at all? Oh yeah, I think they'll be. I think they'll show up and be like, "Oh, we're in like works right now for Joker two, and might even probably announce some of the people that are casted for the movie." Unless they're like further along than we even think, and they have like a True. little teaser. Yeah. I mean, that's they might have we're done with the movie. You guys get to watch it right now. <laughs> exactly. so they, might have, yeah. they might have like a sneak peek or even like a trailer for it. Honestly, yeah, it's possible. Knows? I mean, yeah. I, I would love to at least see. That's, see, that's so that's another thing I'd actually you know want to see is Walking and Todd coming out and talking about Joker too. You I know, think they that'd be cool. Could do and they should do. Um, honestly is just i would just love to see concept art for the new joker like i oh, think concept yeah. art would be a really cool thing like, to joaquin, roll out. joaquin and joaquin phoenix is oh, like joke that. like him and like some kind of like full joker elf yeah and like, and like lady, lady gaga Ga- lady gaga's harley, harley quinn, quinn. What, yeah. what vibe they're going for yeah, yeah. Really i think yeah, concept yeah. art would like be what perfect. kind of what kind of harley quinn they're going for in this movie because obviously we have margot robbie's harley a slut. Quinn, but, but <laughs> <laughs> so on stripper pole and some like strip outfit. That was wrong. Uh, what do you look, think the odds are of that? <laughs> let's, uh, let's get down to nine point nine. How close to hundred can we get? Ninety nine point nine 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 nine. Nine bar, we'll put it at. <laughs> no, I would love to see Joaquin roll out Lady Gaga too, and like oh, her come yeah, out and just be yeah. like, "Yeah, so I'm so excited Dude, to play our Adam Quinn. Driver." Maybe fuck it. Ooh. Ooh. That'd be cool. I I don't even give a shit who he plays. Just put him in there. He could be Adam Driver himself. Yeah, that'd be honestly. I <laughs> I think he could fit in. Next in that talk movie, show honestly. host. Now that Robert De Niro's dead, I guess I'm taking it over here. <laughs> yeah. so I, can... I think nice reference. Nice uh, reference. Nice. Uh, I I really think this. I mean, I think that's pretty oh. much the big things that we're gonna get at DC. But I think that the, we will not see anything from Aquaman or Flash. I think that they're gonna yeah. avoid those two things completely this weekend. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah. I mean, I think they could bring out Aquaman still if they just get Jason Momoa out there. I think they yeah, a decent shot of that. I that's think true. That Jason Momoa is so likable. I think that because they could just have him go out there and also they Amber, probably just won't show a trailler for. Amber, Amber, I don't do think we get a trailer. No way. Not a fucking Amber, chance. Like, no teaser, nothing. Amber, 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 no. Amber, Amber Heard's Amber Heard's situation is a lot less worse. It's a lot, a lot less worse than you know Ezra Miller's, and the fact that you know obviously she doesn't have much screen time either in this know. movie. Ezra Miller killed or Ezra Miller hurt nobody. Amber Heard hurt my one and only true love. So. Dude, I thought but also, you. and also, she's not in much of it, so I mean, it's not. That's what as, I was gonna say. The only reason of, if they, well, maybe of, though. I, I, I think they're still trying to work that whole are, thing out. But, yeah, that's fair. Fair. I think they're trying well, to figure think, out how to cut her in, or more aptly put, cut her out. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's. Well, I, I think the point was that not that they were cutting her out; she didn't have a lot of scenes. I just think that going into it, I'm pretty sure they said like she's just not. I don't a think part they, of this movie. Yeah, anyways. so I mean, that's the thing. So she's. So that's the thing is why they, can, I, they, can really they might easily, have a teaser yeah. or something or a trailer yeah. open for them because again, Jason Momoa is well, we like we just, one of their star characters. They'll, they'll probably have a teaser like with just him in it and like maybe a new villain or some shit like that to where you know she's yeah. not involved at all and i mean if if she really isn't in a lot of this they can just I mean, honestly probably easily... left out of the first one it's trailer. possible i just don't exactly. think so i think that they're gonna hold off just a little longer on it i i really do i yeah, think that we, could, I mean, we probably get something dc fandom from i think even I'd before that but like i think they'll hold yeah. off I'd say tra- trailer or teaser qu- questionable, but Jason Momoa pretty high actually, because I think Jason Momoa just going out there and talking alone. Yeah, I think that'll that's work. at least a 50 50. That's so fine. Yeah. That'll, work say, that'll, all day. that'll raise a lot of uh, people, you know, interests for, for, uh, 
the new movie. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they'll they'll, they'll talk a little bit about like uh, if anything, maybe some of the visual effects they'll show like a reel of that. But I don't think that we're actually going to yeah. get a trailer yet. Not to mention the thing got delayed again. You know, so we're. I think oh, we're gonna. I it? think we're gonna wait. But <laughs> I didn't see that. Yeah, but I I think that um, I think the other part of it is. The other thing we're definitely going to see, though, I don't think we'll see Michael Keaton. I, I'll, I'll be happy if we do. I'll be never be more happy to be wrong if he does come out this weekend. But I do think they're going to bring out uh, the In the Heights girl to talk about Batgirl as well. I, I think that she'll be out there. I can't remember the actress's name, but I think which one? The one, the one who played um, Maria. No, no, no. Uh, the the uh, uh, Jimmy Smith's son or daughter, <laughs> Jimmy Smith's daughter in the movie. Um, uh, the I, one, the the one that. Uh, not maria but the other one the other main girl in the height she's playing back girl i think she'll come out to talk about it um the one who was his crush is that who you're talking about no and that maria is is it the crush is maria isn't it why can't i think of the are you talking about vanessa oh vanessa's the crush maria is the is, it, is her name Maria though? I don't know. That's no. That's that's uh. What fucking that's West Side Story? Side story. West Side. <laughs> Not her. Confusing movies here. Not it's her. About, it's about Nina. Nina. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Ariana Greenblatt. She's gonna that's come Green. out and talk about Batgirl. I think a little uh, bit, and I, which okay. I'm excited for. I think that, I, and you know what? Maybe she will bring out Michael Keaton because he's gonna be in that. You know, to 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 kind of promote it better. But, I yeah, you won't hear anything about the Flash. I, I can almost guarantee it. That's <laughs> that's one thing that they're definitely gonna try to avoid. I mean. Caller me surprised if they say anything at all about the Flash this weekend. I, I, I mean, honestly, I, I'll be shocked if they say anything about Ezra Miller at all. I'll be shocked. I mean, I will drop dead in my chair if they say a word about Ezra Miller. If that name gets they're smoked, dropping smoked. Miller Light as a sponsor right now. Like, I'm sorry, it's just not working this <laughs> this this year round, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. No kidding. They have to. I think. All right. So um, it is not Miller time, motherfuckers. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> the next big panel we're gonna have you already, you already know that people aren't gonna be naming their kids ezra anytime soon <laughs> yeah that was just diving to be top name until now so true oh you know what's funny? one of my my sister's gymnastics coach named her son ezra and i just can't see that name the same anymore I'm like You're fuck gonna beat that lot of that little kid yeah look I, i've seen i've seen the kid too he's He's a cute little kid the next the next panel that we have to talk about is um it's gonna be Obviously, it's uh, Marvel, but I did want to uh, take a departure from the Comic-Con news. Let's go ahead and take our news break now, and we'll start kind of going through some of these articles that I had pulled up here. And I, because I thought, I thought that we actually had some pretty good stories this week. Um, first of all, I, I did want to start with the, um, the, that Predator trailer, which I thought was really, really good, um, which Dave brought to our attention. Actually, he brought it to our attention last week, but we just watched it now, uh, but a no little bit before the show. What I say. No, I, I love day. Predator, man. I, I love the original. This one looks just as good. I was so surprised seeing as how it was a straight to Hulu. I really liked it, yeah. Um, I hope that this is the best since the original. I, I did not like the Shane Black Predator movie. Um, so, I, I personally, I thought that one was bad. But I did like the first three Predators. I thought I thought they were good. Um, Alien versus Predator, take it or leave it. So that's, that's kind of where I'm at with that. But... Um, <laughs> Dave's face. Sorry, I don't like Alien versus Predator. You, you can sue me all you want. I mean, I had fun with it, but I, I like I, it. I think fine. it makes sense. That's I think f- I love it. That's fine. I think the Predator was like, I saw that uh the main chick, the black chick, and he was like, dude, you're fucking dope, and uh these aliens are kind of being like bitches right now. Let's just fucking let's just fucking kick their ass and leave, dude. I think that was the best ending ever. It was yeah. the most logical thing for me. <laughs> another another trailer i caught though was uh jeepers creepers uh reborn which i didn't think looked terrible oh, yeah. um I, I didn't think it looked awful i know there's oh, like not at all for jeepers creepers i know i think that uh look i honestly i i didn't mind it i thought it looked interesting it was definitely a different take on the yeah. franchise I, I i did i don't think it looks like the best movie of the year or anything um like predator became my or prey uh, became like one of my most anticipated um but like jeepers creepers is not one of my most anticipated but i'm excited 
I mean, at the same time, <laughs> over that question, I'm interested. <laughs> what I'm question? Just fucking shoot myself in the face. What question did he ask? He just he just well, asked you what do you think about myself. You say, say, what, do you, what do you think about modern day horror movies? I, I was asking you what you think of these modern day uh, horror movies, meaning like the new Jeepers Creepers oh. has like an obvious like, oh god, my mom's texting me right now, and let's do an escape room, which is funny because I'm wearing an escape room hat right now. Oh. Like panic escape rooms. This dude just uh, promoting like this. Fucking, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but like, have you seen the new Texas Chainsaw Man? Oscar? no i didn't watch it okay well just watch that and then just know jeepers group is gonna be a lot like it i actually don't hate the new texas chainsaw Massacre. okay that's funny because i i'm not a big fan of the original all right so there was another trailer that dropped and we'll, we'll just get right another. into this yes um halloween ends which mm, looks yes. Yes. action on the channel by the way check out yeah Donald nice action. yeah it's a really good one yeah. yeah thanks for see i have people plug for me i don't need to uh wear a t-shirt but look the uh <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> i'm kidding dave stay around stick around we need you uh but the but halloween ends guys look i think it looks great i i really do yeah. I, I think it sucks i'm just kidding it looks good it looks great it looks, it looks amazing i, I mean when, when he when he was walking up the stairs and you know what i like about it is the spin on it where it's like usually people are looking around for michael michael's looking around for Lori. so i, like I, I thought that was dope gun in yeah, his face when he opened the door like she has a gun in his face i'm like oh shit that was the best part of reaction because you reacted down exactly the way i reacted yeah Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck him up. You know another, another scene that really got me too was like when he was like he had like he had her hand he was turning on the garbage oh, disposal yeah, and, like, yeah. and he just like he just elbowed the fuck out of his face and then stabbed him in the hand. I was like, oh shit! I <laughs> Damn, okay. this, was, I loved it. All right, yeah. so I I did like the trailer a lot, and I did say this in my reaction. Here's one thing. And I understand for this teaser, they were going to play right into the Lori versus Michael because that was a lot of people's complaints with kills. Right. However, I'm on the other side of that. I happen to like the departure in kills where we got away from Lori versus Michael because there's five other movies where you can watch Lori versus Michael. Not saying it gets old particularly, but I yeah, did but like the have one good one. Uh, true. <laughs> but, uh, two good ones if you got the original. But uh, oh yeah, yeah. Funny. But yeah, yeah, um, no, I agree. But I'm saying like I did like the departure in kills from that yeah. and, and so like i hope that he I, did. I hope david gordon green sticks to his guns on that and doesn't completely Do just a one -on -one give into the fans yeah. i i still want a little bit yeah, I think, of I think what he was be, doing in I, kills. Think, I think i think there's gonna be enough length in this movie to where it's not gonna be just completely the yeah two, one v one I was, there's gonna be there's gonna be i was scene. gonna say just from the trailer that looks like the compilation that we get in the trailer is like part of the movie if you catch I was gonna say, like, yeah they yeah, did yeah, that in yeah. the one that we watched earlier where you could tell what we actually see is like the first like 10 minutes so i'm actually pretty stoked because i think they'll do a good justice to the one-on-one -on -one between him and Lori, which i like to see because a lot like jurassic uh world dominion instead of this fucking tug of war you're gonna play tug of war there he goes the again the movie or with the fucking bugs what the <laughs> fuck was going on with those bugs? <laughs> you got the fucking go bloom. You got the fucking darn. The fucking bugs. You got the fucking I think the, Neil. What wait, the I think, fuck I think, I think was the, going on with those bugs? With, no, I think, this I think this teaser. I think this teaser is gonna be like the the last maybe like fifteen minutes of the movie where they have like this whole final or showdown. It couldn't. I, I, I would they, like it I if it was the right first one, though, because then they could so, kind of subvert. Because uh, yeah, I think yeah, everybody's yeah. expecting this to be the third act. But if they did this in the beginning, oh my god, imagine that! They, like they were, imagine they're that. Definitely, it, they're definitely obviously gonna have like this like final showdown. Oh just, yeah, like, one on one, like a bro Western style, just one v one showdown. Well, what is what is good about it too, though? What, what I was trying to get at is with the Lori and Michael one on one that I'm getting from this trailer. It has the competence that I got in the fucking bug movie Jurassic. <laughs> World Dominion of instead of these motherfuckers that have been fighting dinosaurs for five fucking movies sitting there and trying to play tug of war with the T-Rex they're gonna taser that bitch in the face I do like that about Lori in this trailer is you just get the like Nah, bitch, you're not putting my hand in the garbage disposal. I'm gonna elbow the shit out of you and fuck you up. So yeah. I mean, who knows? Who knows Michael Myer best than her? Obviously, like she knows. Exactly. She so I, I knows hope we dude. get a showdown. But I, again, like Dom said, I really do like the step away of the fucking community think, getting think, in on I the think, thing. She's kind of out of action. And, and because because it's yeah. gonna come together. And because like you know we've had one movie solely focused on then one v one and then a, another movie solely focused on like. Diverting nice. away from that, yeah. I think I think we're in this movie we're gonna get a nice combination of both. 
and it's going to be a perfect send off for yeah. this, tri- this trilogy um by uh was it david gordon green david gordon green yeah 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 i think we're going to get this nice final like mix we're still going to get the showdown obviously between Laurie and michael myers but it's going to be a nice combination mix of the masses and um Laurie with michael myers i mean i'll say this i have faith that i'm going to enjoy it just based on oh, my uh praise of the I last two yeah. i mean i i, 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 I can't so i can't i can't wait i can't wait yeah. till i go i can't wait to go to you know florida with dave and go watch this bitch i can't wait yeah, yeah. i'm just gonna be there too though. yeah, yeah of course yeah of yeah. course yeah we'll see you there Dale. yeah we'll yeah. see you there man but no i can't wait this movie is gonna oh, i'm so fucking ready for this movie man i can't wait i i really hope it delivers and yeah i, I mean it's tricky now this is the one thing and i love david gordon Green's style and direction on both of the on his past two movies and i know i'm in the minority but i did i love the past two movies and i know you liked them too but uh yeah and 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 dave did and and so that's one thing the three of us definitely agree on is we've liked it but i think it definitely starts this is where we start to it gets tricky because this is really a finale so it's it's all about sticking the landing and and even some of the best filmmakers i know have trouble doing that and that's why it's it's gonna be it's it's gonna be a challenge for for well it's it's been it's probably been a challenge for him but i think I kind of have faith in him. I think he's gonna. I do really too. Deliver, I think he's gonna deliver the, with this and give us the perfect finale to this trilogy with Michael Myers and Laurie. I do too. I, and I, I have full faith. Jamie Lee Curtis has said as much too. She wrote a whole excerpt on 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 how perfect I, this is I actually going to be. I did read. I read that too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and and I, I mean, if she says it, then I mean, it's got to be true. I feel like you know, <laughs> he's yeah, he's understood this whole journey with you know between laurie and michael myers and i just think he's gonna perfectly send off this trilogy of of michael myers and laurie's story i agree man i think i think he's just got such a great sense of tone and i mean even the beginning of this trailer he just just, and he just understands this this franchise so much i mean michael walking up to the house in the beginning man that just gave me vibes of the original and that that was perfect that that shot was that oh it was that that scene was shot amazing it was i thought so too creeps dude honestly it get, bro it gave me goosebumps it, it yeah. gave me goosebumps seeing that shit. I mean, too. It was, yeah it gave and me that, that feeling see, in the force awakens when you see luke at the end you're like oh it's happening again <laughs> see, that's, that's this is the type of stuff that really just inspires me to do the same yeah. i just want i just want to you know inspire people to get get people just loving movies you know because there's just nothing better than just expressing feelings and stuff yeah for a chance to, asshole to, to, to <laughs> the art of film honestly it's it's great so there was a trailer we watched uh last week um by the way i know i know and i still got to put my first reaction for this so we talked about netflix being in trouble and and you know they have to uh come up with a good plan and stuff to get out of this trouble so what do you do you acquire the monsters and this is actually happening uh oh, netflix god. <laughs> netflix is oh god, best oh, of the god, year oh, god, from oh, variety oh, god, this is what we're Speaking talking the about. best halloween movie ever mr right. rob zombie fucking 40 in for this shit so rob zombies the monsters premieres september 27th on digital and blu-ray though before heading to netflix which is really interesting i saw that yeah so it's going to be a straight to blu-ray interesting this is getting even more interesting this story Uh, you know this thing looks so bad universal doesn't even fucking want it anymore that's the real concerning thing about this movie and and look i I, that's how how bad it that's how bad it is universal abandoned shit real quick don't get ahead of yourself and I, <laughs> let me throw it out there you guys will see in my reaction i threw this one or two little compliments daniel roebuck looks fantastic as grandpa i think he is the best part of the whole trailer as grandpa monster i think that he's going to destroy Honestly. in that role i that's one thing i gotta that's give the trailer i, got out of it. I don't want to say it because we were shitting on it but i was like Yo, he looks pretty fucking good. He does. He's the best part of the whole thing. So that part of the trailer I liked. I do actually dig the lighting choices. I think the lighting is actually pretty good. I I think Rob Zombie actually does know how to light a scene. I've always said that about all of his movies. I just think he needs to use a different grade of film to shoot it. <laughs> That's where my issue lies. And then thirdly, the set design isn't the worst thing I'd ever seen, but I also think that it would play better because when we're seeing it in black and white in those parts, it looks better. And I've already seen people edit the trailer in black and white. It looks better uh, as a whole in black and white. I don't know why you just didn't use that the whole time, but look, aside from that, this thing looks like garbage and <laughs> like the, the dialogue, the style, it all looks like garbage. And, and, and like, so I, I think that, I mean, it makes sense that universal just was like, look, we're just going to put it on blu-ray first. It's going straight to blu-ray. Um, forget it. It's skipping theatrical it's skipping peacock. We're not, we're, we're not even going to put it on our own Can fucking I service. You, yeah. I have hope. Really? 
I have hope. You know why? Why? Because of what I just said about Halloween. I feel like this trailer, knowing Rob Zombie personally as my best friend, and I'm going potentially to his concert on Tuesday. I'm happy for you. I love his music. I think which, he's wait, fucking with us. I which think concert? He's fucking what? with us. He's coming to Florida Tuesday, and I might go see him. But I, I think he's actually fucking with us. I think it's a popular theory. And it's so bad. The trailer is so bad. I genuinely think he's fucking with us. Wow. I think this trailer was made out to be that way and is just part of an episode. And it's made this way to look this bad and be this cringy on purpose. Prior to this article, I would have agreed with you. <laughs> prior but to the article, Rob Zombie. <laughs> no, it's not. But I'm saying prior to Universal saying we're going to dump this right straight to Blu-ray. And we're going to put it on Netflix. We're not even going to put it on Peacock. Because no, uh, it, Universal it, moved Shrek, dude. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Okay, They moved <laughs> Shrek 40. I don't trust these assholes. Look, I'm telling you guys. I don't think that I don't think it's a misdirect anymore. At first, I kind of did. I don't think it does anymore. Look, and if it, again, I will never be more happy to be wrong if you're right, because I I, I think that I I also think that they would have popped out with something else by now to say, hey guys, it was a joke. You know, I I really do. But if Rob we're, me don't fuck around, dude. If don't we're being bamboozled, <laughs> it's the greatest bamboozle of all time. I I will give hey. them that. Like it is. Ten second story. Rob Zombie at Chicago Open Air was told that he can't show his videos up on the screens because it's mainly pornography. And Rob Zombie agreed and said yes. And then they immediately put that shit up on the screen. So I'm just saying Rob Zombie pulls that shit. Oh, I know. I'm not saying that it <laughs> hasn't been known to happen. I'm just saying. But to your credit, Dave, we watched that trailer and we were like, where did $40 million go? You know, because the, there, yeah. there's no way oh, no. this costs $40 Bro. million. Dollars. I, I literally tweeted that out. I'm yeah, like, bro, I, I I still have that tweet. <laughs> bro, bro, I'm zombie like, should get the Flintstones next. Bro, I literally, look, I got the tweet here. I literally did. I really did put Universal Pictures gave Rob Zombie forty million to make this, bro. <laughs> like, well, fuck. well, Jose, I'll, I'll kind of go to you on Dave's point. I mean, what what do you think are the chances that it's an actual misdirect to this whole thing? I honestly, at this point, knowing the current situation of the world in general, I wouldn't be surprised if this was a prank. Yeah. Me and, either. and they were like, oh, oh, it's just a joke. We put this trailer out just to, you know, like we made this trailer with this amount of money, but we actually made a better movie with the 40 million that I was given. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Like and with someone like Rob Zombie, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, this was all just a one big joke and right. one big ha ha. Fuck you. We just wanted to play pull a prank on you guys like, Look, i wouldn't be surprised i would love it if that's the case and that i actually get a monsters movie because again, i grew I up with this that i, I love say, and, and I, oh, I haven't i haven't seen it yeah uh you and I, the og no i haven't seen the og no oh, it's so fucking good dude and that's what and that's what that's what i've heard and that's what all my friends in my film class that i just took this past monsters is the best that, that it's just the original so when good. you come back down in October with Dom, dude, we're gonna make you fucking sit down and watch the monsters. We're, we're gonna, gonna binge, fucking... we're gonna binge, yeah. Oh, dude, and I'll go see all the and other I, horror and, films. I, and, I, and I can't, I can't wait. I'm we might not even have to wait me. that long. I mean, we need to do a rewatch episode for Monster Go Home. It is in my top 20 favorite comedies of all time, so we're gonna do that. And I'm, and I'm uh, down, and down. I'm honestly, I'm, that time. I'm, I'm down to watch this too because I, I want to see like what the hype is about this, yeah. honestly. And, and, and I really do, honestly, for you, for your guys' sake, and for everyone who's a monster fan, I hope that this is just one big prank in this trailer, and that you know, before this movie comes out, they drop another trailer that actually shows you know a forty million dollar production, uh, just just because you know this trailer that they've just dropped is just horrendous. I so, I, mean, I want to ask you that, and, and either of you can answer this. Like hypothetically, let's say that this is true. This is one giant misdirect. Let's say okay. that we know that this is just for this hypothetical situation. We know it's one giant misdirect. Let's pretend like we do. How do you justify at that point just putting it straight to Blu-ray or DVD if it's that big of a hit then? Like, what would be a good reason to just do that rather no than putting Blu -rays it on Blu-rays anyways, probably. That'd be my answer. Who gives a shit? Well, if you got a hit, maybe, then you'd, maybe, want, to, you'd maybe, want to buy it. Maybe, maybe, as I say, maybe, maybe they know that this is going to be a big hit and they just want to get sales on on dvds first and then put it out to a streaming service down two Cause, weeks cause ago because because look because because i mean you know obviously buying a dvd in some aspects is cheaper than you know having to 
you know, especially because it's coming to Netflix and Netflix is already so fucking expensive. It's like twenty two. Yeah, yeah. It's like twenty two dollars a month to fucking have a digital yeah. release. Are like ten exactly. Bucks, exactly. So it's cheaper to buy the DVD than to actually subscribe that's, that's to Netflix. A fair point. So maybe they're gonna release it in DVD first to see how the sales go, and then be like, all right, cool, yeah, now it's on Netflix. You can watch it on the streaming service. I will say this after hearing you speak about it. I will say this much. Everybody who I've seen watch this trailer like online because I've watched reactions just because they're funny. So everybody I've seen watch reaction or reactions from online, every single one of them said, I'm gonna watch this. <laughs> they're it's peaked enough curiosity that people want to watch it. Maybe just to say, see maybe, how maybe, fucking bad it actually maybe, is. And maybe and maybe that's what maybe that's the strategy I was you know? say, maybe that's maybe maybe after watching all these tr reaps they've decided all right cool we're gonna release it on dvd first and then go to a streaming service well maybe people that's, maybe maybe that's been their plan this entire time it's gonna be on digital too so people will pay the money because they're so damn curious as to what this thing looks like you know exactly and, and, and so maybe maybe that's just been their plan this entire time is maybe to, 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 to release trailer. You don't make a bad point exactly yeah. yeah i mean it's probably you know we're all just probably sitting here like you know talking about this shit but maybe they just had have have had this planned out this entire time dave's know? about to I, flip his lid over there let him talk I, I say again we all sat here two weeks ago and agreed shrek 2 was one of the greatest movies of all time I okay know. no we no, no, these we stupid didn't. motherfuckers no, move no, shrek 4d okay. the ride out of universal and we're gonna fucking trust these people. No, I don't fucking trust them. Okay. I I don't know why they did that. I don't know why Universal did that. That's about one of the dumbest. Because they like to give me depression. That that Shrek 4D ride is fucking amazing. That's one of the main reasons when I was a kid that I actually went to that ride for, like went to Universal for it was because of that Shrek 4D thing. Bro, they're still talking about getting ET. I'll kick their ass. Right. Hey, 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 hey! Don't hate on it. Wait, what? They're gonna do what to ET? They're talking about getting rid of it. They have been forever. And I'll tell, I will that throw ET, some fucking hands. That ET ride's amazing. You know, what I remember the last That's time I went. Over. The last time I went onto the ET ride, I remember we had to stop midway through the ride because something was going on and yeah that's half the time i go yeah, on that fucking yeah, ride. that's I every fuck, week yeah. for me jose i, fuck, <laughs> that's, I fucking love that's the that best ride. part yeah <clears throat> no but yeah man, look again maybe that's this is just all part of their strategy their plan that they wanted to do when's the release on this september 28th 20, i think yeah, okay september 27th or 28th is one of those two away. yeah not too mm -hmm. far all right guys look uh, last story for the day. So, uh, there's a big rumor going around, and I do want to clear this up, that HBO bought A24. Mm -mm. Doesn't appear to be the case. But they did strike a really good licensing deal with A24, and I think that this is actually pretty cool. So, 28 A24 movies are going to go to HBO Max. And, and look, I, I, I'll be the first to tell you right now. A24, their movies don't make the most money in the world, but they make but some they're, of the most... They're original shit you'll ever I was see about to say, like, and it's like, fantastic bro, i mean i mean coda for one is a fucking amazing movie. yeah i fucking love that movie and yeah i mean look i've seen a bunch of other i mean tragedy macbeth is isn't that an a24 yeah I, lo I love that yeah, yeah 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 i mean they did make them some amazing stuff and i don't know what happened with with apple i guess hbo just offered more money than apple which is kind of surprising to me because apple just is fucking rich as hell um i don't know what happened there but unless i don't know are, are they both gonna have a24 movies or is a24 gone to i think Max? that they'll both have them it doesn't really clarify but this is one thing in the article that i wanted to point out that actually makes a lot of sense um currently the streaming service is exclusive home to emmy winning teen drama euphoria starring zendaya and sydney sweeney and that is an A24 show. So that actually makes oh, a is? lot of sense. Yeah. So that makes a lot of sense. Oh, I did not know that. Um, oh, damn. That HBO oh, would shit. actually start acquiring some of the licenses to put some of their stuff on the service. And when you look at like HBO's service, they're built around these very top tier, very cinema, cinema yeah. movies, oh, yeah. you know, like, like, and they, they say like, I've been, I've, I've loved basically every single movie that I've seen on HBO Max. Right? Yeah. And, and the shows too. I've loved, I don't think I've hated anything that I've seen from HBO Max. I mean, look honestly. at, look at all the Criterion collection titles they've, uh, you know, acquired and things like that. And they have so many classics on there. It only yeah. makes sense to acquire part of A24's library as well, because they really are trying to carry forward that cinema you know that that classic cinema feel to a lot of their stuff i guess yeah um, i guess i guess like i guess what we're, i mean from what i'm guessing is that the hbo a24 original stuff will go there and then the apple a24 original stuff will go to apple yeah. tv is what i'm 
kind of guessing what happened here with this this deal that's going on yeah and i'll even list off some of these titles just for some recommendations for some folks from the a24 library at least some of the ones i've seen all right so dark places it's a movie starring Charlize theron and chloe grace moretz it's a wonderful Oof. film i highly Two recommend. amazing actresses highly recommend that that's ex, a great one by the way ex machina yeah. is phenomenal i i it's one of the best sci-fi pictures i've seen in the past Love decade oh, I, I was gonna so say, good i was gonna say, I, I, I watched that this weekend. Great, by the way. Yeah. Love them. Yeah, love it. Lo love Great. Ex Machina. Um, and it's one of those movies that's just so unpredictable at every term. Stars stars Oscar Isaac and Isaac, Donald yep. Gleason, two Star Wars alum there. So that's that's fantastic. Uh, you also have the movie Laggies, which stars Keira Knightley and Chloe Grace Moretz, uh, which is a really fun movie. He also has Sam Rockwell in it. It's a really good oh, comedy. Uh, Keira Knightley's in it? What's that called again? Uh, it's called Laggies. I highly recommend this film once oh, yeah, it drops on there. One. I'm watching um, that one. Here. They also have Locke starring the great Tom Hardy. I still contend that might mm. be Hardy's best performance of his career that's going on there. Uh, a Most Violent Year, it's from the director of Triple Frontier, and it also stars Oscar mm. Isaac. I highly mm. recommend this. It's from J.C. Chander, again, who love directed Triple, Triple Frontier. Frontier. Oh, yeah, look at Triple Frontier. So I yeah. highly recommend A Most Violent Year. So it's it's great work. It also has Room, which won Brie Larson, her Best Actress Oscar. It is one of the most heart-wrenching movies I've ever seen. Made me cry so much. I, I, I love Room. It's beautiful go see room um they also have son of a gun starring ewan mcgregor this is another great title they're also bringing the rover starring robert pattinson if you want to see robert pattinson mm. do some phenomenal acting i mean you definitely got to watch this they got the spectacular now starring the great miles teller and shaley oh Woodley. yeah we, we saw that one that yeah, film that was... is awesome oh, dude. Um, amazing they're bringing kevin smith's tusk to the screen um i know that's oh a very God, divisive dude. film but i really like tusk bro i saw i saw this like dude break down that movie i honestly don't know if i want to watch that movie. i that love shit tusk looks, that uh, shit looks scary as fuck that's one of those it's that, fucking like, disturbing I, as hell but i, one, I, I have a say, good it's, time it's with one it. of those it's one of those that i feel like probably could actually happen in real life and that's the reason why i don't want to watch that yeah i mean uh, I, dude and, and on top of that though they're just bringing so many titles that i'm excited to see um uh, under the skin with scarlett johansson a lot of people you know give it praise mm -hmm. i can't wait for that one i mean Scar look, scarlett johansson's and a lot of nominal movies man yeah i mean uh, lead on pete i hear is a great film i've heard great oh enemy by the way they're bringing denis villeneuve's enemy i forgot to say that they're bringing that to the oh, really? as well yes yeah, so that'll be oh, on there shit. i'm excited to watch the end of the tour with jesse eisenberg and jason Segel. i'm so stoked to watch barely lethal with Haley steinfeld and sophie turner and i and and amy which is supposed to be one of the best musical documentaries out there i, I they they have so many great titles coming to the service from a24 and i i just hope that they keep licensing them and because i would like all the a24 movies to be on hbo max at one point but so um look the sounds I, don't know about, I don't know i don't know about all of them but you know i would love at least my favorites to be on it you know like uh, i hate apple so it ever hurts them yeah I, I I want I want I want I want the witch Coming. to go on there. I want Midsummer to go on there. I want the lighthouse just, to go on there. I, 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 there's so I many forgot, good titles. I, I forgot. I said I don't pay for any any streaming services, but I technically pay for Apple yeah. TV. Uh, only, be, only, only 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 because only only because only because it comes with Apple Music, and I pay. Drop, drop the Kylo Ren trader right now. I know we need we need that as a soundbite now that you say. I, 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 as I pay I pay five dollars a month for Apple Music because I get that that you know college student discount. Yeah. So and it comes with Apple TV. So I mean I might as well just keep paying five month five dollars a month for Apple Music if I'm Spotify gonna Apple. gives you that and it doesn't support communism yeah. if you'd like. No, but I get Apple, but I get Apple TV. So I mean, most, I mean, I can watch stuff that are Apple TV exclusives on there that you guys probably wouldn't be able to watch. So yeah. Um, all of them are trash so i wouldn't waste my time but yeah they're not bro coda is fucking amazing shut the fuck up coda's fantastic um it, it, that i've ever heard of out of there it's one best picture last year man exactly so shut your fucking <laughs> like i said pitch. the only thing i've heard oh about i thought you said i've never heard about oh. it there i'm oh. oh, sorry i misunderstood Dude, I really, no 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 okay <laughs> uh, are there any of these titles that stand out to any of you or anything that you're interested in seeing um, um just out, out of the ones that we listed just out of curiosity uh, pretty much all of them that you name dropped yeah honestly yeah pretty much all of them yeah i mean a24 a24 i mean a24 drops amazing stuff so I'm, i'd be interested in watching all of them yeah they, they have a really great library i expect any i mean i i would insist that any film enthusiasts go check out some of their stuff i mean along with the 
the stuff that uh, Criterion's putting out, which HBO Max has a lot of uh, the Criterion Collection stuff too, um, which is just really for Criterion for Criterion Collection newbies. I'll just explain the concept. So basically, they take a lot of old classics. A lot of them are a little bit obscure, but need to be brought to the spotlight for sure. And they add new bonus features to them. And they also they're typically ninety percent of them are like director approved, which means they actually take them to the director and they watch it frame by frame by frame and just they they let them make the changes that they want and. Um, so that way it is the version of the film that they would most likely do. So I do recommend a lot of those criterions that HBO Max is putting out there, too. So uh, good stuff there. Um, all right. So let's get back to Comic-Con. We do have the Marvel panel coming out, which I think there's a lot of big stuff, a lot of speculation uh, we can have for Marvel. So, Dave, what's uh, one thing that you would want to see from the Marvel panel this weekend? Oh, I'm so glad I could start on this one. So have you guys finished Miss Marvel? Yes. yes. Uh, bro, I've been, okay. Whoa, I've, bro, I've been whoa, 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 whoa. I have not. Easy, easy. Oh, okay. Easy, Jose. Shut the Shit. fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I've not even started it yet, but I'm going to start it tonight. You're a dumbass. Because my girlfriend has been waiting for me. We've been watching uh, other shit. She's finished. We're finishing Game of Thrones. So that's the thing is that that is taking precedence because we are finishing it right now. Right. Uh, we're like three episodes away. But with that being said, I've heard no exact rumors about X Men. Mm. x-men that whole world in, indeed i've i've just heard the rumors that x-men may be semi-involved in miss marvel i have no details other than that i won't say anything about it but yeah i, won't say I will you, that's that's yeah. what i look forward to more than anything i don't know if you guys know this i probably love x-men as much if not more than the mcu stuff yeah i really fucking love it which is why i'm so scared because like, they really had a great thing going with Young Magneto and all them casted. I don't know how they're going to recast better than that, honestly. I'll do you one better, though, Dave. X-Men directed by the Russos. The Russos come out to announce X-Men. I like that. Yeah. I, like that I think that that would be really, really cool. Um, so, Jose, you missed that part. But uh, I said, what about X-Men directed by the Russos? What if the Russo brothers come out to announce X-Men? Mm. That would be insane. So that's that's a possibility. I'm not going to take it off the table. I'm going to I'm going to give that prediction about a 45% right there. So let's let's I'll stick with that. Um now and that's even with me having having seen Miss Marvel, I'll give it a 45. Um because I, I think that they might hold off for one of their own events, the Disney Plus Day or uh D23, but I'm just saying it's possible. Let's not take it off the table. My big prediction I'm going to give it a 75% chance. You know what? I'm going to go 65. 65% chance. Ryan Reynolds brings Hugh Jackman out on the stage to announce Deadpool 3. Yeah. I think that Yeah, let's go. Let's I think that this go. is happening. And I'll tell you why I think it's a 65% chance. Tomorrow, actually today when you're watching this and listening to it, Logan and Deadpool 1 and 2 go on Disney Plus. True, yeah. So I don't know. Coincidence. Which are which are which are, which are Disney's Marvel's first rated R movies. Coincidence? I don't know. That scares me. All that right. Scares me. I don't know if they'll do it right now. But all right, Jose. What about you? What would you like to see from Marvel this weekend? I'm just trying to think of stuff that's coming out for Marvel that they announce that we haven't already seen. Like you got a lot to choose from, actually. I mean, you got a big library there. I mean, the Marvels, seeing yeah, Brie Lar seeing Brie Larson and um, Iman, what, whatever, her uh, last Iman name Vellani, is. yeah, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, seeing, yeah she, seeing, seeing, seeing them two come out and talk about that would you know, be cool the if they both the came out on stage just yeah. to at least talk about it. I mean, I, I, yeah. I wouldn't expect a trailer or anything, but to talk but about it at least, at least, yeah, at least yeah. them two coming out and talking about that, that would be sick to see. Um, 100%. Yeah, Dave, what do you got? So, what's, what's another one for you? Yeah. Okay, so I will say, first of all, just want to piggyback off of what Dom said and address it. Would fucking love Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman coming together for a movie. I'm actually at my coffee table. I'm getting made. I'm getting each tile wrapped, and one of them is fucking Deadpool shooting Wolverine in the head and stabbing him with a katana while Wolverine's hoisting him up with the fucking uh, with his claws. So I fucking love that. I pray to God it's real. Um... I think this is one that they won't be bringing up here because it is still very fresh, and I think they'll save it for something else like Disney Plus Day. But I think they got to do something else with Moon Knight. The more and more I think about it, 
I don't think there's any way they trash that. Don't think they'll bring it up here, actually. But that's just one thing that came to my mind because it's fresh in my mind that I think they'll. I'll give it a thirty-five up at a future event. I'll give you a thirty-five. So, you know, I was, you know what, to piggyback yeah. off off what uh, Dave just said, I think uh, a uh, Hugh Jackman, Ryan Reynolds, Oscar Isaac type, you know, Moon Knight. Deadpool, Wolverine, oh, shit, esque, esque, like even... all, like all three of them, all, all three, all three, Deadpool? all three of them oh, in one movie. Would that'd be, be a dude. crazy trifecta. Dude, that would be that. Fucking, that is the trifecta I want to see. Dare I say that'd I'll... be the potential for one of the greatest movies. Yeah. Oh no, ever no, it would be Blade it would, included it would be, in that. Toby, everything. It would be the best Marvel movie probably ever because those three together. Uh, let's remember, idiots can run this place. You know what I mean? What if then Kathleen wrong. Kennedy comes out wrong. says, "I'm going to take charge here and fucking I just not, kill myself." You're not wrong, Why? but if the right people, if the right people are put on right this, people in charge, dude. You, I don't know. This, you this that like up. them three together in one movie would just be. F- Fucking insane. Dude, it don't matter how the movie is. It makes a billion dollars in sleep. Oh, I, dude, I'll tell you right I mean, now. It could be in one the, fucking know, room. Just three of them just having star, to deal with each other. Yeah. <laughs> that, kind of, that, kind, that kind of star power, those yeah. three together is fucking ridiculous it would be insanity i like it i'll give you and you know what it would be it would be you know what the movie... circle jerk each other I'll be... <laughs> the movie, fucking... and the movie would be moon knight and deadpool teaming up against wolverine because you know in the comics yeah. deadpool and moon knight were like teammates so it'd be like them two against wolverine and that shit would be fucking insane i also want to jump off dave one of dave's points here really quick too i'm, I'm gonna do you one better dave 65 percent chance taron edgerton comes out to announce that he's wolverine Ooh. that's what i think is going to happen 65 percent chance <laughs> um he's already gone out there he's been saying hey i talked to marvel about it already he didn't say he was but you say he's talked to marvel about it already yeah, oh talking, i've got talking and, 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 I've got, oh go ahead no i was gonna say you go you go ahead but i've got another one that i'd like to see okay so here's my I guess I would categorize this as a 50 50 either way. So I think that they're at least going to announce I'm actually okay. So I'm 90% chance uh, I'm at a 90. They're going to at least announce the fantastic four director, I think, mm. but here's the thing. Here's where it gets into the 50%. I think if John Krasinski, Krasinski. and Emily Blunt are Reed Richards and Sue storm, Krasinski is your director. I think 100% if they have them locked into the cast. However, I've heard whispers that it's not them I lately. Sure. Damn. And if it's not them, don't don't get too bummed yet. Because if it's not them, I started thinking about we riot. Who's who's a who's a who's a Fantastic Four fan that uh, might actually do this and hasn't dipped their toe into Marvel yet. It's an outside shot, but I don't think it's as outside and as crazy as you think. Steven Spielberg to direct Fantastic Four. Oh, yeah, he did tell me that. Yeah, that would that. be the pop of the night if he walks out. On I feel stage. like I feel like I feel like John Krasinski would probably still be involved somehow. I don't think so. I don't. I really? I think I think if he's involved at all, he's directing. He's starring. I think if he's out. Well, I think I feel like I feel like if Steven Spielberg's directing, I feel like John Krasinski will still star. I don't know. I think if John Krasinski's not in it, I riot. I think that I think it's part of his contract, man. I think he's got to direct too. I think it's part of the deal. I think I think it's he directs or no go. And I'm not but saying that's that what makes it such a high probability. I think because I think John Krasinski just walks up in the office and is like, "Listen here, bitch, I'm gonna fucking direct and star in this fucking film. I'm gonna put my fucking wife in it. It's gonna be the best shit you've ever seen. In well, your look, life, you'd be crazy to turn <laughs> him down unless Steven Spielberg's Kim directing the movie. Around. That's the only thing that would make them turn uh, down. Uh, I don't, I, I, yeah, in terms of turning them down, but is it the best idea? I don't know about that. <sighs> it, dude, it'd be probably the best MCU movie the, you the ever saw. The problem is is that you're as good as Spielberg is, because I'll never deny that. I fucking love him through and through. Who the, it, who's fucking going to get started? It's one of the big. That's that is it. true. That's the bigger yeah, issue is the starring at this I'll point. I'll tell you two people who are starring in it. I'll tell you two people who will star in it. I want to hear this. I want to hear this. Okay. Jason Segel as the thing. Dude. Joe Keery as the Human Torch. Those are two stars right there. <laughs> the fucking yeah. crack is in that fucking yeah, cigarette, no, I, bro. See, I, I, I don't know what the fuck you're I've smoking. heard Joe Keery, though. I, I, Joe Keery is not bad. I've heard that, and I think if he acts like 
season one steve i like that a lot i mean obviously his own yeah, if he, I was part, but if like you, if i can see yeah. that in season if one has, steve a lot if he has if he has that dickhead attitude as human torch i can see that but i can really, see that really, jason siegel as the thing I, joe curie is more of a nerd did you guys watch our friend Keller was no. yes that's the only reason i think jason siegel is going to get the part uh, i like Jason Siegel. I, I think i think there's a higher chance of John Krasinski More directing like Steven, and starring you know. than Steven Spielberg <laughs> taking this over. I'm just Honestly. saying, don't. I'm not taking it off the table. I think that there's I still a chance. Either, I would, as a either, betting either, man, I would put all my money on John Krasinski. Yeah, same. That matter. Same. Like, I, honestly, I just think like, that there's I, too many acting plot holes at this point. Like, too many, not plot holes, sorry. Too many acting holes in terms of, like, I mean, who are going to plug I, in who? And they've had considerably how many failed movies now? Like, three. When I say failed, obviously, you know, like, First two. Meaning you didn't like them. We're doing good back then. I, I never <laughs> said I didn't like them. Oh. Uh, I never said that that was a failure. Oh, are you talking about Fantastic I'm, Four specifically? Yeah, Fantastic Four. Oh yeah, failed movies, one hundred percent. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> keep going. I don't even hate them either. No, I keep I going. Don't totally hate them. Keep but going. No, I, I think with the amount of I don't like them. <laughs> failed with this. I think the safest by far, even over Spielberg, is just putting Krasinski on the case. Was, Director, like, I, I, actor. I, Emily Blunt in there. Emily Blunt's been on fire, especially oh, yeah. every, not even just fucking Quiet Place, but even fucking Jungle Cruise. She fucking killed it, in, dude. I mean, bro, she, I still and, haven't and seen that. How the fuck? I'm just saying, if this is all I'm trying to say, if they couldn't close the deal with Krasinski, if they couldn't, let's say they couldn't. I was gonna say, like, I, I honestly, I think the like, only thing that would mull can. that over, they can. Oh, and oh. You, I, you went for a second. The only thing that would mold that over would be Spielberg. The announcement. Yeah, I, agree. Yeah, yeah, I, agree so, I mean, yeah. I, I agree. I agree. That, but, but if your bad but juju I, makes that happen over John Krasinski, we're gonna forcibly circumcise you, motherfuckers. So don't you fuck with the bad. Than you already are, Dom. No, but like, faith. <laughs> so I'll, I'll say. I want Krasinski so bad. Trust me, dude. I will fall I think, out of my seat. I, I think. I think. <laughs> I think that they'll be able to close the deal 100. percent okay. Just because. Like, I've read, I, I'm guessing you guys have too, but I've read in so many different articles that the reason why John Krasinski was even put in Doctor Strange 2 is because fans tweeted so much that they wanted him as Reed Richards that they put him in the movie. Yeah, but and, it could be a one-off, man. Like, nah, I feel different like... Different universe. That's what I, feel, I got I feel, as feel like, no, but I, feel, I feel like the fans are just going to... And Disney's gonna be like, all right, cool. We're gonna have John Krasinski direct and star in this next Fantastic Four movie. All right, man. I, I look. I hope so. I, I hope so. I really do. I'm not, I'm, I honestly think it's 50-50. And, and, and if, and if it, I was gonna say, that's what I mean by 50-50. If, 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 if John Krasinski yeah. doesn't, then I wouldn't be mad if Steven Spielberg took it over. It's and not a bad second choice, man. Steven it's, Spielberg. It's really, I mean, look, Steven Spielberg no, is amazing. No, no, Don't no. get me wrong. He's, he's a good second I, choice. Yeah. I love. Yeah, I he's love. The arguably the greatest director of all time. I, mean, I you demand. Can't. 100%, yeah. I demand nothing yeah. but perfection, though. So if John Krasinski isn't there, people are getting circumcised. Remember that Disney execs, Bob Paycheck can't pay me to stop the i'm trying to figure this out and the, you know the violence. other the other thing i track i track with the the fantastic four stuff this is the other way i track it i mean don't get me wrong krasinski is a good deal what talked them out of john watts though i'm trying you know when you try to wrap your head around that a little bit more just john watts coming off two billion dollar hits for them with far from home and no way home what talks you out of that now john watts is doing star wars we know that but i'm saying I don't buy their BS report if he needed a break because he's doing Star Wars. <laughs> it makes no sense. Like he's he's going on to another major project and what's being reported to be the most expensive Star Wars show yet. So I'm saying what talks him out of that? Maybe maybe they maybe they felt that John Krasinski would do a better job in Fantastic Four than John Watts. Well, no, I mean that's one good theory though is Krasinski that got they got him to star, but part of the package was he's he had to direct, and they said, yeah, and maybe and maybe that's maybe that's why they just didn't go with John Watts. And they went with John. They went to John Watts. I could see Kevin Feige totally being like, look, give me Krasinski here. I will give you your choice of Marvel project in the future. That's one major yeah, possibility. Exactly. Yeah. I yeah. mean that's the only that's the only viable reason I can see. Yeah. Honestly, is yeah. that. You know, they got him as... What has John Watts done outside of Spider-Man? Uh, he had a movie called Cop Car that people love, apparently. I haven't actually never, seen never it. Heard, I never even heard of it. I hear it's amazing. Is, is that all he's had so far? Uh, he did a movie, Clown, that people didn't love so much. So we'll see. Okay. <laughs>
Um, yeah. And then the three. Spider-Man's I only liked show. really No Way Home of his, to be honest. But oh, I loved all three. But I, I, I think that I mean No Way Home being more so than the other two. But yeah. Um, I, I actually loved all three of his. I, I thought I thought he'd made a really good trilogy that built perfectly to No Way Home. I think without the other two, No Way Home wouldn't have paid off as much. So I actually love mm. what he did entirely. I hate the first two, and I love No Way Home, so yeah. I gotta disagree. But yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I kind of. Yeah, but. Mm. Either way, uh, look, this is, I'm just saying it's a possibility. I i mean, you know, Jose, I mean, what's something else, though, for Marvel that you can see happening this weekend? I... Um, uh, maybe them coming out to talk about anything for Black Panther 2. I think I we mean, get a trailer. Yeah, I, think... I was going to say, I was going to say, because like, that'd be fucking we nice. We, <laughs> we, have, we, have, we, have, something. we have to get a trailer. We haven't heard or seen anything about Black Panther 2, so we need to get something. I think you know, I th- crazy is it when Tupac walks out. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. <laughs> imagine, imagine. Chadwick's Tupac. there holding him, like, I'm not going to be in the movie, but I'm here too, guys. It was all a prank. Gotcha. <laughs> the monsters would no longer be the greatest bamboozle that would be. I mean, honestly, <laughs> yeah. like the yeah, he was holding out yeah. just to do Black Panther two. Yeah, seriously though, something, some like a trailer at least for Black Panther two because we haven't heard or seen of anything for Black Panther two. Yeah, I what mean, the fuck? we're getting like, a trailer. Oh, hundred percent. Ha- we like, have to at this we point. We have to because we haven't. S- it's like, coming out in November. So next be, project, yeah. every everything is wrapped exactly. except for. I mean, everything is past except She Hulk, and we already got a trailer for She Hulk. So exactly. I think I think Black Panther two, and Black Panther. 2 is going to be much bigger than she hulk let's be honest so 100 oh, yeah they're, they're going to roll that out i i, th- I would give you a 99.9 percent chance on black man 32 and that was happening and that was weekend. and that was yeah. you know that was actually filmed in one of the studios here in atlanta i thought too, he was so. gonna say what kind of no 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 it was it was, filmed, Wakanda, bro. it was filmed in the trailer studios here in atlanta so oh God, I you know lost it. that's that's big up atlanta so not yeah <laughs> That that definitely for sure a Black Panther two trailer for sure. It's I mean. happening. It's yeah. happening. Um, yeah, the other thing sure. that I think is actually a possibility that I don't want to take off the table completely. Uh, Quantum Mania teaser. Oh, hundred percent. Maybe. I mean, um, they might save it, but I, I do think that but they imagine, will talk about Quantum Mania quite a bit. Imagine, this imagine we just see Haley Steinfeld come out. Oh my God, that'd be incredible! Oh, that's a good prediction. Actually, I hadn't thought of that. The, them bringing out Haley Steinfeld and yeah, the announcer her, her for Quantum Mania officially. Her, her, yeah, her as a new Hawkeye. Yeah, her as a new Hawkeye. Because yeah, they exactly. seen her on set, but that's not an official announcement yet. You know what I mean? So they, to officially well, because, roll because, her out. Because yeah. What we what we I just say what we the last thing we ever read was that a a cast member from the Hawkeye show was on the set, and so we all assumed that it was her. And so to actually see her walk out and announce uh, something for Ant Man Quantum Manium would be amazing. Even like, if they don't do that, another really solid prediction, actually, now that you mentioned that, because I don't know if you guys remember this, but at the Emmys, they submitted Hawkeye as a limited series, which means if you submit now at the Emmys as a limited series, that means you can't do a season two. Exactly. Like that means it's not getting a season right. two, but they changed it. They changed it. And oh, really? I wonder if maybe we'll get Hawkeye season two announcement. Mm, That's a possibility right. too. I would love to see a season two. Honestly. I would watch the season two because, like, because yeah. like, I feel like season two would just basically be uh, Jeremy Renner's Hawkeye training her to be the next Hawkeye, and like, and that'll play that'll play into it's what this first season was. Mm, kind of <laughs> not really. I mean, I feel like we'd we'd see. Good point. She just did it. That's fucking. Well, I mean, she's. I think we need more build. Yeah. I was gonna say we need more build because she was basically already a trained archer before she met Jeremy Renner. So I feel like we're gonna see more actual in-depth training of how to be the next Hawkeye. Yeah. That'll kind of that'll kind of build into. It'll be a five-minute montage. (laughs) Ant Man Quantum. No, I feel like this is gonna be like I don't know. Maybe we'll see a villain or something in this next season. I don't know. I mean. I think it'd be. I think it'd be maybe cool. we get a villain bullshit. Dog. What what what, what other uh, predictions you got there, Dave? If any, anything's better than Hawkeye season two. Jesus, hey. I can bring hey, back hey, Falcon hey, and hey. Winter Soldier. We'll give that fuck a fuck that show. Fuck, fuck that show. Fuck that I know, show. It's trash. Uh, I think Guardians three. Maybe. Oh, well, that's a good prediction. You fucking, you fucking took my. You fucking took. Oh, I'm sorry. You, I was gonna say that. Fuck. Well, don't worry. You can have the holiday special. Uh, no, Guardians three. <laughs> uh, is. <laughs> 
<laughs> you could. Coming out with that shit, bro. The fucking Christmas edition. Fuck it's always be the holiday special. Fuck it. No, they'll probably talk about Guardians Three. Honestly, yeah. I think I think they'll at least bring the cast out and James Gunn to talk about. I was gonna it, say man. James Gunn. I think would be there. He's always yeah, Chris. I mean, Chris James Gunn will be there. He's dude. probably already gonna be there for DC. So fuck Chris, it. Exactly, dude. He's Chris, already gonna Chris, be there with John Cena, dude. Fuck it. John, I mean, Chris Hemsworth is probably gonna come out. Yeah, I, he's probably. gonna be, he's gonna be in Guardians Three for sure because. I mean, dude, we'll, fuck it. We'll put everyone there. Robert Downey Jr. can come back. Fucking. So yeah. this one, I'm going to go with an 85% on this mm, next one, which Robert is Downey no. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with yeah, the 2% kidding. on that. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not zero, that though. 2% <laughs> is just that he happens to be there. Like, oh, shit, what's this? Two percent <laughs> is that we have like a video of him just talking. That 2% <laughs> assumes that Sherlock Holmes 3 is not happening anymore. So that's. Uh, that's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, look, the the thing that I, I'm going to, uh, <laughs> no, I'm going to talk about Daredevil. I was literally going to Charlie say that. Cox has to come out yep. 85%. He's coming out to talk about Daredevil. And I also think they'll announce whether or not this is an actual Daredevil season four or if they're going to reboot the character or not, if, the, if that's the plan. Oh, I think they'll kind of get into man. that quite a bit this weekend, actually. I, I have a good, solid a good feeling on that. for us to have right now. Yeah. Um, the other thing is we might even have a trailer for Daredevil because I'm, I'm going to tell you why the echoes to show a lot of people speculated that the production for that was just code for the Daredevil show. So I wonder if they were actually in production on this longer than we thought, like in secret, that's a possibility too. I'm not saying definitively we'll have a trailer. I'm going to go with a 30% chance on that, but I'm, I'm saying like, maybe there's even a trailer for Daredevil that would be insane. So I think that. They'll bring out Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio to talk about this new uh, season of Daredevil, whether it be a actual season four or whether they're just saying, hey, we're going to start these characters on a clean slate. Don't worry, you're still getting Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio, but they're clean slate. It's not canon with the they'll probably talk about that a little bit. I, I would think I would hope we get some clarification on that finally of what they're what that's actually going to be. So and we know Daredevil season, the new season's happening either way. So, I, I mean, that's confirmed. So. Are we getting another season of Daredevil? That's confirmed. Yeah, oh, Daredevil shit. is confirmed to come out. Yeah, that's Let's gonna go. that takes place in the MCU. We do know that. Love that yeah, show. that's I happening. Love that show. Yeah. Uh, so clarification on it would be nice, though, about what's canon and what's what's not now. Um, yeah, so, what are we to believe and not to yeah, believe? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, what happened here, Feige? Who is this guy again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got to explain to the twelve-year-olds who he is. So that's yeah. that'd be good to roll him out. Uh, It'd be nice if we did need to watch uh, several more hours of running time to understand shit. We we already got that problem here. <laughs> I know, <laughs> so right? It would it, be nice. Let's not add to it. <laughs> would be nice. Uh, no, I, I would love to. I, I I bet you he's coming out to talk about it, and I I think it's going to oh, be yeah. a huge huge deal. Uh, I'll take down these predictions by the way and rewatch because I was rewatch. I'll I'll take these down and consider them and write them down so that we can see who who's right and who is wrong yeah, and that'd be cool i'm glad don puts yeah, it we can, we can make we fun can, of them more i was gonna say we could do something similar to um what we should have done something similar with the oscars could, right exactly, like that was yeah, fun yeah, that was exactly, fun yeah we yeah. should have done something yeah. like that yeah. it's a terrible fucking yeah. idea jose <laughs> no i'm just kidding that's excellent all right let me just leave it we go get my shotgun i'll be right back <laughs> I'm gonna introduce you to Leslie. <laughs> um, no, uh, look, you know, be really. <laughs> he would call a shock on that. I'm just assuming. Uh, no, uh, look, I, uh, let me, let me talk. Let me ask What's you guys this: help? What are the chances of anything for Blade? What do you think? Mm, very low. It's been a while since we heard about it. Wesley Snipes is the one for PR, so I don't think it'll. Happen. Yeah. In day in Dave's mind, Wesley Snipes is still playing Blade. Uh, let me go to a realist, <laughs> Jose. Uh, <laughs> what do you think the chances are for Blade? He's in better uh, shape. Uh, okay. for Blade, I don't know. I'd probably give it like a well, maybe like twenty percent chance that we get anything for Blade. I'm gonna go forty-five. I'm gonna go forty-five because only because it's funny. Because you know, because you, know, you, know, you know what I think. You know what I think has a, a more likely chance of us. Uh, we're probably gonna get something. For, nah, I think um, we'll get something for uh, Craven the Hunter. They won't because it's Sony and Sony doesn't have a panel. Oh shit! That's Sony. Yeah. yeah. Oh fuck! I did not know that. Never yeah. mind then. But not to mention, right, well, you know, idiot. They gotta fill an you, hour bro. here. You know, um, 
I, I mean, I think we're going to get a lot of little things, too, on top of the big stuff. I mean, like, I, I think yeah. uh, Neo, what's her name, will come out to talk about Captain Marvel 2 a little bit, like, just for a brief second. I think bro, that'll probably El, happen. El Muerto, bro. We'll get El Muerto. Sony. Uh, but yeah. That's the, also Sony. God yeah, damn it. That's, that's all the Sony Spider Verse, Venom Verse, whatever. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. Well, big up Bad Bunny, anyways. Yeah. No, I would love for Sony to just come out and they're not doing a panel Dude, again. I think but... Venom and fucking Tom Holland Spider Man, everybody else is going to be out there just fucking chilling. Fuck. Bro, they should. They, Sony, should Marta, too. Sony, well, Sony, Sony, Sony should have a. Here's thing. another question. What are the chances that they do talk Spider Man, though? Because Marvel does have a little stake in that. I mean, that is, that is. That is. Wait, you Nothing's going to happen for Spider Man. Oh, Tom Holland. Right what are the chances, mm, though? No. Very, news. very, very fucking low. How about I going to put it at zero? That little fucking crap I'll put it at one, spill I'll put, all the beans. I'll put it at 1.5% chance. I mean, think about how big of a hit No Way Home, though, was. I think I'd go a little higher because of how much money that thing actually made that they're going to want to... I agree, but I don't even think they have anything slated, and it's not like they're DC trying to do, like, fucking crowd control over here. No. Like, fucking Tom Holland No, it's there. true. But 15%, I'm going to say. I'm at least going to do 15 for Tom Holland coming out and to talk about Spider-Man. Because that's... I mean... You I know, think it's, now that you say it, I think it's a pretty good chance that he just happens to fucking be there. They're like, yo, Tommy, you want to go out on stage? Like, I've been signing all these fucking Funko Pops and shit. Why don't you just go out there and talk, you fucking loser? I think at least to just say, I'm still going to be Spider-Man. I think that would be... <laughs> it walks off stage. <laughs> yeah. I'm still Spider-Man. Fuck you guys. Bye. Oh, it caused a huge pop, though, because, you know, we're still kind of not clear on it. So... Um, well, if he's gonna, if he's, if Toby if comes not, out and says, "I'm Spider-Man, motherfucker." Are, are you guys telling oh, me? Oh, like, Toby and Sam this? Raimi coming out to announce Spider-Man Four. Oh, yeah, I just dude, I, there's fucking. all this there's all this report saying that like Tom Holland isn't going to return as Spider-Man for freshman year. They should all come in on stage. He's not for freshman year, but it's a voice role. He doesn't need to. He can get anybody to do that. That's fair. Yeah, it's canon. They all with come the, on stage and fight. Yeah. X -Men. They should have Toby, Andrew, and Tom Holland just come on stage. <laughs> but that's something that, that's a good point you brought up. I think if anything, Spider-Man, we will get a little glimpse at freshman year because that is canon with the MCU. And, and so they're going to probably talk about the animated show and X-Men 97, which that's not canon with the MCU, but it's the sequel to the classic X-Men series, uh, the animated. So I think that they'll probably give us a little it's glimpse at that too. Thing ever made. Yeah, it's awesome. I hope they give us a glimpse at 97. I think it'll be amazing. So so, um yeah but oh my gosh i okay so here here's where we're at with our sh I, I i think for me just to recap really quick marvel's sure bets almost sure bets i should say ryan reynolds and hugh jackman i think okay. is almost a sure bet taron edgerton wolverine i think is almost a sure bet yep um and Black Panther 2 trailer is definitely a sure bet. <laughs> yeah. I think dude. that those are the three. I mean, that if I had a... Someone's like... getting kennedy if they don't drop that shit. That's, <laughs> that's what I get. Yeah. And I, I think if even if Ryan Reynolds doesn't bring out Hugh, Hugh Jackman, which I think he is, but if he doesn't, I think Ryan Reynolds at the very least is coming out to talk, talk about Deadpool 3. I, I think oh, at the yeah. very least. Yeah. And I think he's coming in as Deadpool. I don't think there's any That'd other way to sick. do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. There's no other way than to come out in his full ass costume. For sure. Yeah. yeah. So I think that those are sure bets that we can look forward to as well um i you know I, i'm trying to think of other things that they have slated that they could maybe i mean they, they are going to talk about that guardians holiday special there's no getting around it they're going to mention that um 100 so that's another thing they're going to talk about and yeah i don't know maybe the animated i am groot series gets a little bit of light shed mm. on it we'll probably get a second trailer as well for it, obviously You're right they'll they'll probably get a second trail oh my god i don't even know if he's conscious anymore uh the, the <laughs> they'll probably bring out his, i don't what vin diesel <laughs> uh, he's he's flowing off the handle now dude i don't know what he's doing um they'll probably bring out um uh, they'll roll out a second trailer i bet you for uh she hulk it's since it's coming right around the corner they'll yeah, probably yeah. get the final trailer okay, yeah Hopefully one that's better than the last trailer. Not that I hated it. I just wanted a better trailer. Oh, I hated it. Anything's better than that. <laughs> but uh look, I, I don't I never know when Dave's serious anymore. <laughs> uh, that was dead ass. I'll tell oh, you. Okay. Right now. That was dead okay, ass. Fair that enough. was shit. Fair enough. All right. Uh all right, guys. Look. Um what if though one one other thing. What if they do roll out Elizabeth Olsen to say she's coming back as Wanda? That's another I, would, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised. Me either. Honestly, honestly at this point, I, I wouldn't be. I don't. 
Honestly, I don't think that she technically died in Doctor Strange 2. I'll go 45, but I, I, I wouldn't be surprised either because she is such a hit, you know, in that yeah. role. And, and I think people, that... Just people, yeah, people, I, people fucking love her so much. So she literally is one, like Wanda. She is Wanda. So. Oh, fuck it. I'd throw down 85% on her coming out and just being like, hey, we're going to rehash the events of WandaVision a third fucking time. Fuck it. Yeah. yeah. We're just going to do it. I, I still haven't yeah. learned my lesson. I'm, I'm a... Cruel yeah, bitch, feel, we're just gonna do like, this shit again. I, well, imagine, again. imagine, it's... imagine she comes out and says, "Oh, I'm gonna be in uh, Agatha House of Darkness." No, I, I, I that's I something they'll probably talk about. That's exactly. probably something they'll probably talk about. Yeah, exactly. They have imagine, to talk imagine, about Agatha, imagine, right? Imagine, imagine Wanda and oh, what's her name? The actress who plays Agatha, Catherine Hahn. Uh, yeah, imagine yeah. them two come out and they talk about Agatha House of Darkness. That'd be interesting if she brought. See, exactly. Now it's becoming more likely to me because that would make sense if she brought out a little bit Because Agatha, Agatha House of Darkness could even be before the events of Doctor Strange too. So yeah. she, so so Elizabeth Olsen will be in that as as Wanda. So like that yeah. is very very likely. Is there anything? Yeah. Is there anything they haven't announced yet outside of X Men that you think that they might like like a project that's like like you think that they might actually go through with like i had one one that i'd heard about that i actually was like that's not a bad idea is like a detective type show with agent Wu and darcy i think would be an interesting thing Ooh, for them to do. Um, that would actually be really fucking if sick they announced something along those yeah. lines the other the That'd other be, yeah that could be cool i would love I that think there's a decent chance of uh, any development in uh toby andrew it's possible i don't know toby again andrew. because that's so I'm not sony. saying it's high i'm just saying it's it very is low possible yeah i mean yeah. The, unless they bring out like amy pascal onto the marvel panel like that's the only way i would see that working like like feige and i are collaborating again folks we're gonna bring you spider-man 4 and sam raimi comes out and toby comes out it'd be a huge pop i mean it'd be worth it to do that's why i'm saying i, I don't mean, think it's like 80 percent or 50 even but i'm just saying it's possible yeah that would with, be amazing with the amount of rumors and and the buzz around it i i don't so I'd put, honestly, I'd put impossible. I'd put the it doesn't happen now. It happens later in life. I put the Agatha the House of Darkness pretty up there. If I'm being honest, oh, 100. Yeah, 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 that's they're yeah, gonna match it. I put it. I'd yeah. put it around 50 or so. I'd probably put it at like 65. <laughs> that news was there. dropped and never spoken about again. I think it's very likely we get a couple updates on it finally. I, I think it's high time we do. We, we know, might, so. we might even. I don't know. We might even get a sneak peek. Do we have anything uh, uh, for the redheaded stepchild? uh whole series going on with the black widow people and falcon and winter soldier that no one likes is there anything oh out of all those wait, wait 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 that's what they're gonna do yeah. let me tell you that they're gonna talk about captain america 4 because we just got the director announcement oh, as well say, yeah captain america 4 yes. yeah, yes. yeah that director uh from cloverfield paradox oh, which i think is a huge mistake but they're probably gonna bring him out to talk about Captain Fuck America you. four. So, I mean, look, I mean, I would. I love be, Cloverfield, I would, just not Cloverfield Paradox. I, I wouldn't be surprised. No, I'm if, kidding. Uh, I, Paradox I, sucks. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a, a an announcement of like maybe a spinoff series for her, like kind of her like backstory. And who are we talking came. about? The redhead chick from uh, Falcon Winter Soldier. Redhead chick. The the main the the leader oh, of of that group. Val. Falcon. Yeah, her. The, the, she's no, not no, redhead. No, 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 the main the the from Peggy the, Carter's. Uh, she's no, blonde. No, 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 no. The main the main redhead chick from the show Falcon Winter Soldier. Oh, the fucking Zuri, the fucking Zuri Bliss. Carly, she died. Yeah, Carly. Car no, not Car bro. What the fuck? The redhead chick who Jose, was the who the fuck are you <laughs> yeah, talking about? This fucking so the redhead Becky, chick. You want me to just name no, redhead? No, the red, the redhead <laughs> chick who was the leader of that gang in the show Falcon Winter Soldier. Carly, she's dead. Oh, is Carly. that Carly? Oh, yeah. she dead. She died in the last episode. Yeah. Bro. I don't think we'll get any update on her. She's dead. I think they killed her character, and I think that's where they're gonna leave it. So I, I, I definitely would not count on that. Um. But it is the Marvel fake death universe as I lose connection to my internet. She, you don't think she's I'm going to try to... No, she played who she played in Solo, except without the pretext of who the fuck she even is. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so that's, that's all I think about that character, sorry. I think wow. she's a great actress. I think she has she potential is, yeah. there. But uh, I'll be honest, I was at a friend's house when I actually, we, we watched Solo again and um over the over this past weekend and uh she, when she came out with uh War, warwick davis i was like ladies and gentlemen the cast of willow <laughs> i mean it really is right i mean <laughs> for this new sh series coming yeah, up so, yeah um 
I wonder where Ron Howard got that idea. Um, <laughs> seriously, it's so weird, but it's kind of interesting that he did cast them for that. Uh, no, look, all right, guys, I, I think that's pretty much all the Marvel stuff. I think that wraps it up. I mean, big time. I don't think we're going to get a Thor 5 announcement anytime soon. Fuck so, no. um, I Taika's doing Star Wars, man. I don't think he's working hard. Uh, not it, anytime it pisses, soon. It pisses, it pisses me off that this dude did not know that Natalie Portman was in Star Wars. That I know that, that was that pisses me the fuck off. And I love Taika, but no. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. No, just, just no. I love you, Taika, but no. No. I feel like Natalie Portman, who's probably not that big of a Star Wars fan too, is probably looking at him like, "Are you are you fucking stupid?" Right, exactly. Like, literally, even literally, yeah, literally, like, yeah. Like the way, when I read that article, it's like even she's like, "Bro, are you are you fucking dumb? Like you're making a movie for Star like, Wars? Are you are you living under? I mean, not are you seen fucking the, with me right now? I mean, not seeing the prequels, bro. I'm literally. I did love her quick fire <laughs> response like, oh, yeah, I though. I loved like, her quick three fire. Of the fucking movie. Right. Like, what did she say? What did she say? Her quick fire response was because he asked her straight up if she would be interested. And he, she was like, I was in three of them. Like, so quick fire. He was like, oh, bro, shit. This dude's been living, he's fucking been living under a rock, bro. The fuck? I just, I don't you know, talk man. to this guy fucking Ewan McGregor. I bet he'd be there. Fuck it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, look, guys, uh, you know, unfortunately, no Star Wars stuff over the weekend, to our knowledge, anyway, that they're, they're not going to do anything. But, uh, uh, yeah, so we'll, they'll save that for D23. We'll get some cool stuff. But, hey, guys, look, Andor's coming right around the corner. I'm stoked oh, yeah. for this I'm show. Stoked. I think that this has the potential to be the best one. So I, I think Andor is going to be great. Um, Andor is my favorite. Yeah. Oh, there was one more thing we had to bring up, uh, by the way, before we wrapped up here. And this will we'll take up the next uh, 10 minutes that we have. 40. We had two more trailers that we didn't mention. Lord of the Rings and House of the oh, Dragons. Yep. Oh, bro, those were amazing, by the way. Are they new trailers? Uh huh. New yeah, trailers? there's yeah they've just dropped new trailers Whoa. for both of them. Yeah, Dom told me Dom told me about them and I watched them and bro, they're fucking, both bro, great. they're amazing. I I liked the House of Dragon one more, but the the Lord of the Rings one is really cool too. Now let's talk about this though. I mean, this brings up a very uh, interesting bigger point. These two shows are going to be going head to head in the fantasy basically, world right yeah. now. Basically, yeah. There's a generational divide there. There's fucking yep. I don't know, man. Which one comes out on top though? I, <sighs> I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you, I'll tell you which one's going to come out on top. There's a generational divide, but what I think will make the difference, believe it or not, and this may sound stupid, but I think it will make the difference. I think one of them is bound based on rumors. Now, some of the rumors I've heard, I'm not talking about the one like there's two more black guys in House of Dragon and the movie is the show is woke all of a sudden. But I have heard rumors of over political politicalization. What the fuck is the word? How do you pronounce that? Po Over politicalization. You got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's pretend That's I fair. said that right. I yeah. think with the Lord of the Rings, given the generational divide, that would be bad. I think for House of Dragon, given the demographics, I think that might actually be good. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty good point, honestly. I yeah. I'm I'm gonna disagree, and and you, you I'm actually looking more forward to House of the Dragons for my personal taste, but. I think Lord of the Rings oh, I is. Too. I think Lord of the Rings is coming out on top. I I think I think mm. so, hundred percent. I wow, think. Really? I don't. Yeah, I don't. I think House of Dragons is coming up. I haven't seen both the trailers. Keep mind, I'm only going off of yeah the rumors. Of I was saying, what I mean, I've me, heard and... me me seeing both the trailers, I do honestly think that House of Dragons is going to come up on top. Honestly, I think. Yeah, look, when special. you look at the money they put into Lord of the Rings, I think it, there's a reason for that. I think that they yeah, have no, that but listen, but I mean, look, you can put in uh, tons of money for something and it can still not. Oh, 100%. We've top. seen that happen yeah. billions of times. Yeah. I'm not saying so, it. So, no. so, so, I, honestly, oh, are you saying which one's actually going to be better, objectively better, Dom? Is that what you're saying? No, I th no, no. I mean like which one do you think is going to or, which or one do you think is going to take over? I mean like the, I think the House of pop culture is like money wise. I think House of Dragon. Yeah, same. Uh -oh. I and I actually hope I'm wrong. Disagree. I actually hope I'm wrong because I like Lord of the Rings. I love. It has a sweeter spot in my heart for me. Huh. But I again, it's one of those things like Avatar is a top grossing movie and. I don't know that it deserves to be there. Marvel movies, more importantly, better analogy, Marvel movies that do really fucking good on money and they suck as movies. I think Game of Thrones is so hot. I think me and you, Dom, are dinosaurs and we fucking lo love Lord of the Rings. We know a ton of people that love Lord of the Rings. But Lord of the Rings? Fucking, there's more Jose's than us now. Hey, 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 hey. 
I like fucking, Lord of the Rings. These I like fucking Rings. losers shut up, and these shut fucking up, shut up, these shut fucking up, shut 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 up. Because I like Lord of the Rings, bro. Oh, yeah, I've seen, yeah, yeah. I've seen all... the iPhone. You shut the dumb. fuck up! I've seen every single fucking movie. <laughs> I fucking love Lord of the Rings. Shut your fucking mouth. I think Lord I of the Rings has taken it for this simple fact. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to go back into that generational divide. I think Lord of the Rings is going to be more family friendly than House of the Dragon. I think that's the other part of it. Yeah, but that's, but, that's the thing is, it, uh, but that's the thing is, I feel like more people these days are more into the non-family friendly stuff that I think that I think House of Dragons will, will come up on top. Honestly, we'll Dude, see, Euphoria man. Euphoria is one of the best shows out right now. And those and which if you one? watch that show Euphoria. And if you watch. Oh, show, yeah. You're a fucking loser, and it's definitely one of the top shows out there. What? And that's Jose. Fuck you, bro. You feel fucking saying? amazing. Fuck you see you. what I mean? This no, fucking it's guy. Incredible. What do you mean? It's incredible. You see, Dom said, Dom I'm agrees. So shut your this fucking is, mouth. Shut your, your fucking mouth. Take, shut your fucking mouth. Dom agrees. Right now. The Dom best thing on TV right, right now. Yeah, right now. fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. Dom agrees. I can't hear you from down there, Jose. Get a ladder, buddy. You might be tall, but you're a fucking pussy, bitch. Anyways, Dom agrees with me, so you can suck a fucking dick. Okay. Anyways. Jose's down there all fee fi fo fum like just <laughs> waiting for you to come down from the beans. Bro, it's all about Jose's. the fucking height, bitch. <laughs> hey, bro. Bro, it ain't about the size I, don't matter, bitch. So I feel like I'm shorter than you, up. Jose. I, I'll be honest. You are. I mean, according... Uh, how tall are you? According to what? <laughs> no, no, no. So how tall are you? How I thought he was going to be like, according to Wikipedia. <laughs> no, but how, to, I don't right. no, but how tall are you? These youngins and their Wikipedias, Dave. I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I, guess, I guess it's Lord of the Rings after all. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, after all, it's taking the win. All right. I'm 5'8". <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Dave said you're 5'4". What the fuck? When did Dave say that? <laughs> he, said, bro, he literally told me that shit when I went to Florida. You can't fucking lie, Dave. So I swear to no, God, you, no, no, I you lie. You I'll, lie. I'm going to fucking I'll hang you. Right look, 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 look. So let's, let's clear this up. Sometimes when you're a really good friend with somebody, you say things to make them feel really good about themselves. Oh, well, fuck you, Dave. This is probably <laughs> a pure bitch. example of that. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. Fuck you. This just, is good. Fuck, just, just fuck you. Wait, Jose, how tall friend. are you? I legitimately thought that Dom was like that short. You see, you see, you see, you see, I, was, said, I did. You yeah. <laughs> you see, um, you're like, you're you know like, why I'm willing, willing to say it? Like, no, 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 hold on. You reminded me of uh, uh, Richard Dreyfus and What About Bob? You think he's gone? He's not gone. <laughs> That's the whole point. He's never gone. You, you, you thought, see, you thought, <laughs> wait, Dave, so, so, you, thought, you, thought, so you, thought, you thought Dom was shorter than me? Yeah, I thought he was shorter than you. How, well, shorter, apparently, how tall apparently, are you? Apparently, he's not. Four I'm inches. We're four I'm, inches away from one another. No, I'm five six. Oh, two inches. Oh, so you're shorter. Yes, I'm the shortest one Dom's here. Taller. Okay, oh, I thought bro, that Dom. Well, us, I thought bro. that you said you were five eight, Jose, and then Dom the fuck, said he was five the, four. When the fuck did I say five eight? It was. I, I didn't say you did. I thought you did. Bro, Latinos, bro, you should know. Latinos, I'm, I'm going back Latinos, to the show we did bro, a while ago. Latinos, Latinos don't grow shit, by the way. Latinos are like one of the shortest fucking people in the fucking world. Oh, man, dude, you just you don't even realize how hard you just set yourself up. I love you, though. How many people, though? <laughs> I I want to I want to raise a legitimate point here, though. Actually, uh, well, how many people, though, like of the new generation? I mean, Dave, maybe you disagree. Like, like not the new generation, but like people. people in their people in their twenties now. Like, do you think that they're? Bro, we're all we're all in our twenties. What are you talking about? No, but I mean, I'm saying like people. Yeah, exactly. This is my point. So like, I I mean, people in their twenties now. Don't you think that on average they're shorter usually? Like, it seems like there's something going on here where people are getting I think shorter. Weaker. It, God's just like fuck you guys. We're gonna make you. Guys I think shorter. they're weaker. Yeah. When it comes to height, I think that there's more monsters, but I think generally people are shorter. Cause I've seen some right. fucking freaks come out now more than ever, like a, no, like fucking know, six no. foot eight, six foot nine. I say, there's, there's but I do feel like on average, like I look at like some kids that are just a few years younger than me. I walk around, I'm like, why the fuck are you people so short? So we're clear. No, so so we're, clear. we're clear. We're clear. Then more people will relate to the Hobbit show. All right, guys, look, we're gonna wrap this up here. I've this. <laughs> you okay over there? Look, <laughs> we're gonna wrap this up. This has been a really fun discussion on Comic Con. I want to thank my two people here, my two guests. <laughs> Dave's over there losing it. Uh, I want to thank my two guests here uh, for coming on. This has been a really, really fun discussion. All right. I've been Don Martino and Jose. Before we go, where can people find you? 
fuck you. <laughs> Under six feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all of us. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> not right. Not right in the roller well, coaster. <laughs> actually, I can ride every single roller coaster. You can shut the fuck up. Oh, um, no, uh, <laughs> you can find me at. A, <laughs> you can you can find me at type on Latino all lowercase all together on all socials. All right, you can find Dave riding the roller coaster. I'm good. No, Dave, where can people find you? <laughs> Front row, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, you can find me at all handles at B King David. All right. And you guys can find me on Twitter at Tom underscore Martino underscore on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> on Instagram Ryan promoting my. He's on OnlyFans. <laughs> You can find me on Instagram promoting my OnlyFans account. And no, I'm kidding. You can find me on on Dom underscore Martino underscore official on Instagram. Please follow the Anorax pages on Twitter and Instagram, Anorax official. And like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave some feedback in the comment section, share this with your friends, hit the bell for notifications. Let us know what you think is going to happen at Comic-Con this weekend and what announcements are you most excited about? We do want to know. Please comment so we know that we are talking to somebody out there. All right, guys. We're going to get out of here. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.